Alrighty, what is good everyone? Welcome to Top 8 of the Ascent Series, the finale of all the amazing qualifiers we've had over the past few weeks. It's your boy JT, your favorite voice actor and VTuber enjoyer, and I am kicking it off today with the legend, the man of many games, but only one name, Hamilak. Tell the people a little bit about yourself. Dude, it's good to be back home in the comfort of my own home, back from Run the Mix from yesterday. Shout out to everybody in the Minnesota scene and shout out to everybody there. But we are here at the Ascent. We are rising to the top, the cream of the crop. We have our top eight for us tonight. You have Umi Show, SQ, Smitty, Danny, Marvello, Red Ditto, Crescendo, and Jack. We have a whole slew of characters for y'all to be here tonight. And I hope y'all are ready for some good ass guilty gear. Yeah, it is absolutely amazing. We have been making it, you know, over all these qualifiers, over all these different brackets over the past few weeks. And you guys have been tuning in, filling out all those Macharino codes and supporting everybody who happened to make their way out. And there are so many players who pulled up. So I'm finally super excited to bring you guys over to the finale. And who do we have first up on deck, Hamilak? You know, looking here at the bracket, we're going to have Marvello versus SQ. It's going to be a tight, tight match. We got the Ramlethal for SQ. And you have the chip Xanif, the speedy man himself versus the tight, very clean precision of SQ. It's going to come down to a battle of the wits, I think, in this next match. That's our first to show up here on stream. And dare I say, it's going to be super, super sick. Yeah, I'm excited to see it. So if I'm not mistaken, you know, both of these players, Marvello and SQ, made their way uh, over to Combo Breaker this year, and they had a uh, pretty close set over there on the main stage. So this is kind of going to be the run back. You know, it's not exactly a major, but we got the Ascent finales pulling up here, and we have a big cash prize. So they're going to be fighting for their lives to move on to the next round of winners. Right, this cash prize is going to be so ready, and we're going to be jumping right into it here y'all's round one winners quarters best of five y'all in the chat make some noise let's rock let's see it go into game one start off strong with the counter hit bringing us all the way over to the corner marvello already forcing out the burst the burst there from sq is honestly a little bit early versus chip but you know as ramethal you don't want to take you want to take those extra precautions to keep yourself alive but now marvello is now going to be able to run his offense yeah, exactly. Styling with that new appreciation color pack coming out from Arxis. The RC should be able to close it out once you get that wall break. There we go. Clean and simple seven golden letters for Marvello. Keeping it easy, keeping it simple. SQ's got to be able to adapt now. Yep, got to wait for that burst to come up here. All right, oh, gradually making our way over to the other side of the <gasps> screen. Big counter hit with the sword toss. Not quite got a combo, but we are going to bait that burst. Huge burst bait and SQ's gonna tip it off. Gonna get the positive bonus for SQ. Looking at about quarter stick of butter, nothing much really. Gets the save jump and close slash and the round. There we go, that positive bonus didn't even need it, right? The you know damage bonus, meter bonus, don't even need it to move on to round three. Oh my gosh, and moving it through. SQ playing the defensive style that we're used to seeing, right? Keeping things real, keeping things simple. Oh no, the counter it from the first hit of record. Backdashes the DP, but doesn't get a punish. Oh no. Yeah, you hate to see it. That J2K coming straight from the sky just goes straight into the Alpha Blade, put SQ on her toes, and finally go into some record pressure here. Good stuff here from Marvello. Ad opting to back away, use the 5P to catch. Oh no! Oh, the no. super doesn't catch! SQ gonna be yeah, able to get a punish, it. set it down. Oh, into the JD. Unfortunately, 2S not gonna combo here, but Sword Toss just gradually getting us some screen space. Marvello trying to throw out the 2Ks, and once again, J2K from the top rope, just getting so much mileage. The cross up. Starting it off, SQ now on the offense, going the other way here. Rekka RC to keep that third hit safe. Tap Dust with all the meter to burn. We're looking to close out this game one. SQ as she takes game one. Absolutely. It was looking so strong for Marvello in that first round, right? But it seems like SQ, you know, warming up a little bit after that download, able to take the first game. But let's see if Marvello is able to bring it back. I see Squidge in the chat saying Marvello and SQ have a 3 to 15 set count record SQ favored with their last set being played at Combo Breaker two weeks ago. So this is uh, this is not too long of a run back that they've, uh, you know, encountered each other across all these multiple brackets. Right. Well, and you know, to think you've been playing the game for so long and you've been meeting up with meeting up with SQ or Marvella, like in three to 15, that's rough. Got to yeah. think like if you're the side of Marvello, you got to really figure out your ways to beat not just Ramlethal, but SQ as a player. 
Exactly. But knowing that you've taken three of those sets, right, you're like, oh, what's one more? It doesn't matter, you know, what the set count is right now. We're playing in the current patch, the current day, June 11th for a set finale, and we just got to take it. Got to force out the burst on both sides here, but SQ going to find the opening. Right, and this is just our first set here, y'all, and SQ bringing us some great offense. Already has half a stick of butter to burn. Marvello opted to use the red RC to get that corner carry and potential positive bonus for himself. Oh my god, what a mix! Yep, off to just go for that uh, wall slump shenanigans or the wall restick shenanigans, but SQ gonna make her way out. Has so much meter available to keep the pressure going after the Daro. Just go straight into a throw here. JS, safe jump. Keeping things real, set up the swords, gets the air throw, stopping every option Marvello has and is able to take the round with ease. Yep, nice little air throw from SQ to close out the round here. Great stuff. Now our SQ going to keep that pressure going, keep that offense started. Missing the sword. The JH is going to get the counter hit for Marvello. Going to look to break the wall. Oh, I lied again, again. Marvello opting to go for the side switch combo or the side switch mix up, keeping SQ guessing. Yeah, keeping SQ guessing. We missed a little bit of that Kara sword toss earlier. Now you're stuck in the corner situation against Marvello, and he's not going to let you escape for free. The Alpha Blade breaks the glass and gets you that positive bonus. So SQ, not a lot of health left on the board. Not a lot right now, but I know SQ that she's been able to turn the tides, turn the table right here. 2 k 2 d set it up. The first hit of Rekka Burst is available. Going to have to spend it. SQ going to keep hers, I believe. Blue RC. Oh, my God. Oh, another Blue RC in return. The 6B. No, but just barely too far to go for a Rekka Ender there. SQ, you need one more good hit, but so does Marvello. The jab from the sky ties up the round count. That was so scary, Hamlag. That was so scary, but yet these two players are keeping their wits at their end. They keep things rocking. Oh, jumps over the throw. Keeping it keeping it simple. Keeping it 2D. You don't need to overcomplicate stuff. Yep, there we go. A sword toss to try and keep Marvello in the corner. But when you're that spaced out, it's hard to keep the pressure going. Sword is still stuck there. But yep, the Kara flip kick. Trying to keep that corner positioning. But unfortunately, Marvello scrambles his way out. Oh, no, you got caught ducking the highs. It's just the key of 2D. Keep yourself standing to block some highs. But yet, oh, my God, what a 6P for SQ. Going to spend the meter to get the side switch. Looking to possibly kill here. Oh, no, and the burst just barely came up on the wall splat. Doesn't matter when you can't burst there anyway. And SQ taking another quick game, but, you know, it's definitely super back and forth, making it to round three each of these times. But it's those little adjustments that Marvello, you know, needs to be able to close out one of these games. Well, right. You know, if Marvello is able to keep the, keep her their momentum, pardon me. Sorry, I've been <laughs> a long day yesterday on the mic, and I'm back at it again today. It is going to be a wild, wild ride, y'all. We got a bunch of matches for y'all. Me, Jesu, don't care, Bear. It's going to be a wild, wild ride, y'all. Yeah, I'm super excited to uh, bring you guys the rest of those matches. And like Hamalak is saying, we got Don't Care Bear waiting in the wings. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of a commentary rotation later on here. So a little bit later into the loser's bracket, we're going to be bringing the homie Don't Care Bear. So hopefully you guys are excited and keep tuned in for uh, for that next match. But going into game three here, SQ just needs one more to move on to the next round of winners. But let's see if Marvello can fight back. We seen it earlier in a couple of scent qualifiers from Marvello. They keep with the new colors, but then they go back to the basics. The color for, for Chip Zanif, it's Marvello's comfort color. Keeping them, you know, it's a psycho psychological thing. You get on something that you're comfortable, but yeah, just like that, SQ is gonna just smoke this round in an instant. Yeah, unfortunately not gonna be able to get the metered wall break, but still positive bonus ram when you don't need that big of a hit to close it out. Not too mad, but we're seeing a lot of burst baits coming out from Marvello. SQ really just picking up and saying, all right, if you're gonna burst bait it every time, I'm gonna take the opportunity, hold on to my resource and get another chance to fight back here, but finally gonna force it out. Just like that, you're not able to cancel out of the DP unless you have RC, but a great mix there for Marvello. Goes for the double overhead, breaks the wall of the big 5H. Positive bonus now for Marvello. Yep, there we go. Life lead even, but oh no, Marvello just barely not able to keep it going, but the YRC gets baited. Gonna be able to take that round with the a little fast RC, sure you can. Ooh, okay, okay. I love I love the use of the defensive option against YRC, just staying there and block, trying to get a good bait. We're gonna see a 2K, 2D, record one, record two, super for Marvello, the chip classic, and one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Made it all the way to game three. Surprisingly, the first time we've seen the Rekka into the super, but with positive bonus in that corner situation, might be seeing it again, but nice. Great 6P. We're seeing SQ leverage that a lot to try and, uh, you know, scramble against that far slash coming out from Chip. Back throw incident here for here for Marvello. Six pieces of the sword to keep themselves alive. Try to JH their way out of the corner. Using that space from SQ is keeping it up. 
Get caught, Bates the first SQ. You are so clean with it, girl. God damn. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Great decision making there. Using the 2S to just barely push herself back. Knows that Marvello is looking for that burst to try and close out the round and able to close it out. Now we're looking at set point for SQ here, and Marvello not going to have burst for quite some time. Great use on the FT cancel cross up. Good back dash for SQ, keeping that pressure up. I love this new route that Ramathals have been doing, ending it with the sword special, getting their opponent to land right in front of him for an easy safe jump setup. And if Marvello, you might. Oh my god, I thought you were dead. Yeah, it's a pixel in a dream. You have BRC to be able to get something going, but you're going to need a few good hits in the 2P, stopping the leaf grab. SQ is going to move on to winner's round two over here in the top eight. 3 0 over Marvello. That's, you know, that's incredible. I know the strength that Marvello has and seeing them fall 3-0 to SQ really blows my mind. I won't lie, you know, seeing just how much of a character specialist Marvello is. And even with SQ staying on Ramathal the whole time, it's the set count just continues to go up and up and up. SQ keeps showing why she's so dominant. Yeah, exactly. Going up and up, just like the Nine Moons Twitch channel uh, follower count. If you guys are already here watching the stream, you know, as we wait for the next competitors to come up to the stand. Speaking of which, we're going to be seeing Nine Moons Smitty versus Jump Dash's Crescendo. But while we wait for them to come up to the stand, guys. You've been watching so many of these brackets over the past few weeks, and they have been hosting such amazing Guilty Gear Strive action. You might as well hit them with a follow. If you, you know, feel so inclined, feel free to hit that exclamation point in Arena and donate to the uh, to the bracket pool as well. I don't know if we have any uh, coupon codes left. I know this specific Arena has been up for a little bit, but if we got some codes to claim left, guys, you know what you got to do. Well, it's right. It's simple. It's three easy clicks, y'all. It's real, real easy. I could probably do it right now if i ever felt so inclined it's easy also not to mention there the pot bonus for this whole setup is 2500 smacks mm -hmm. can you believe that holy mercy yeah exactly we are uh you know definitely super gracious for the people who funded to the pot whether you know you funded a majority or even just a couple dollars here and there all the support you guys are bringing even if you haven't sent anything over to the pool and you're just here to watch these games with us thank you guys so much as we head into our next set we're gonna be seeing smitty versus crescendo right crescendo's had a lot of practice in this matchup not even versus smitty but other against other happy chaoses it's how they were picked up by jump dash being able to be one of the happy chaos killers but smitty i know as a nine moons homie continues their pressure and continues to get better day in and day out mm -hmm. go for oh, j2k no. safe jump pulling up here crescendo in a rough spot here i think you're just gonna save the burst break that glass with the uh gun super easy peasy lemon squeezy says happy chaos gets the first round and first blood of this set Ooh, another steady oh, no. aim to start it up. Stuck at the full screen here. You know, Geo has a great dash, a lot of great mobility options to finally make your way on, on the happy chaos, but unfortunately not able to convert there. Dude, hashtag Smitty sweeps in the chat. But you know, I got, I got, I'm a big fan of both these players, and I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of Giovanna. How much of she's a very fundamental character? Ops for more easier options, but you get a bigger. Oh no, and Smitty might be regretting not going for that positive bonus here. Missing out on so much meter and now Crescendo able to make the most of it. Knows you're going to try and be a little bit cheeky with that wall tech. And now, positive bonus about to be 100 meter available for the Geo. Ooh. The BRC to dash forward. That was so slick, Jay. Crescendo answers back. Yup, and great use. Knows that off of the 2k with that BRC, you're able to confirm just straight up into that close slash. Didn't even need the extra damage there, but just had to show you, yeah, I got the roots left. You know. That's cool. Dude, it's the amount of fundamentals that each have. Spiral arrow to keep it safe. Dang, I'm playing a lot of Street Fighter. Cal low Ooh. slash, anti-air counter hit. We're going to see the saucy. Oh, no, Smitty got his burst back. Oh, no, you have the concentration super and another 50 meter in the bank as well. Any good combo should be able to confirm into the bullet super or another concentration if you want to keep that zoning up. But Smitty getting a little bored said, all right, I pull up. I pull up. I'm going to think about my problems and I'm going to take game one. No problem, Smitty secures the breadstick. Mm -mm -mm.
And like you were saying, right, Geo's such a cool character, definitely one of the, uh, you know, more mobile characters in the Guilty Gear Strive cast, which can really help, especially when Happy Chaos is going for a lot of that zoning when they don't have that concentration super available. But speaking right. of Geo, we know that Smitty recently, I think over the past couple of months, really wanted to explore a character outside of Happy Chaos, see what options they have. And Geo was the character that they landed on. So it's definitely going to be an uphill battle for Crescendo, right? You know that Smitty has that character knowledge on the Giovanna, your character. So, you know, while maybe you've been spending more time on them, you know, a little bit more about the in intricacies, you're going to have to work even harder to try and trip up Smitty here. All right. And even with Giovanna being, she is a little bit of a linear character considering her fundamentals are so great. If you're able to stop her offense and keep, make sure you keep Crescendo honest, you'll take Crescendo out with no problem. Mm-hmm. Yep, just got to keep it simple, keep it moving here. But Crescendo, you know, we saw a couple good openings here. Let's see if they're able to bring it back in game number two. Oh boy, you know, I can't handle, I cannot even contain my excitement right now. I'm honestly shaking in my boots. The IV on the gun. Okay, Crescendo, I see you, dude. Oh, pulling up with the spiral arrow here, looking cammy. All right, keep us in the corner. A little frame kill with that JK. Smitty <gasps> struggling to get out here. No, but the 6B is going to whiff and Crescendo going to make huge advantage. Oh, no, might have been able to kill with the super. Interesting. They were probably looking for super gets the PRC on the clone. Smitty with a pixel and a dream. And this is the character to be able to do it on first is available if Crescendo decides to get close to yellow RC to keep it safe and run up Ooh. throw the classic. There we go. And I love that double dash coming out from Crescendo, right? A lot of times when you're scared against the Happy Chaos, what you can see, oh, you go for a dash and then block, dash and then block. And you keep it very rote, very uh, methodical. But Crescendo trying to be a little greedy and said, all right, if you're going to let me, you know, if you're going to try and frame trap me, give me that extra space, I might as well take it and pull up with the spiral arrow once again. Big punish on that spiral arrow. We're going to get some extra kicks in online. Low keeps the plus frames going. Smitty, why are you pressing, dog? No pun intended, but damn. Damn, you hate to see it. Once again, another situation that Crescendo could have closed out with the wall if they just went for the super, but the nerves finally going to be overcome. A little bit of that cross up JH to tie up the set count. One, one. Ooh. If you're Crescendo, you know, you're happy to have tied up the games, but you're definitely sweating a little bit. You're like, all right, let me stretch out the hands. Let me relax. A couple execution errors, but I can still keep that momentum going, going into game three. That was crazy. You know, not to mention, you know, we have 64 codes left on that match arena code and crescendo had to fight through two happy chaoses in their pool to make it here so just think about that that's two of the best characters people say this character is busted this character is broken do you think crescendo might be the happy chaos slayer for the ascent Let's see if they can I don't know. It's looking one. pretty strong. Yeah, like you mentioned, you know, in pool three, they had Bean, Jack Crescendo, and MJ Kirisei. So definitely no slouches there. So maybe Crescendo feeling pretty good about that happy <gasps> chaos matchup. But no, we're just going to whip in each other's faces here. The attempted tech, but nice backdash on that 5D. The whiffs on those throws. It just shows how ready and how aware both of these players are. Missing the 6P, you got a burst there against Crescendo. He's going to max out damage. Hits this, the far slash. Oh, my days. <gasps> Yep, ended in the Sepultura, 50% meter available. Are we finally gonna get to see the super wall break? There we go, Crescendo. Absolutely cashing out on the damage. You get the hard knockdown here, just barely not able to kill, but nice, caught out the jump with that 6P. Crescendo just, no, they just know how to play this matchup obscenely well, using their fundamentals against Happy Chaos. You said, you said it earlier in game number one, Crescendo being able to dash block, dash block, dash block finding their way in slowly but surely. You got a lot of time on that timer. Make it count, make it happen. Yep, exactly. Crescendo still got 50 meter in the bank, but Smitty got 50 meter of his own, looking for a concentration super maybe, but gonna get whiff punished <gasps> off of that far slash. There we go, Crescendo. The tap dust made it happen, and the super's gonna come through for Crescendo. Safe jump available. Will he go for the option? Yes, he will make it happen. Yep, we know you're thinking about the burst, thinking about the YRC when Smitty has it available. This positive bonus isn't going to make you any faster, though. Smitty with a great reversal off that wall break. Spiral Arrow is online. It is available. And remember, Giovanna does get that extra defense for having 50 meter. So it's going to help against the gun. But the whiff punish for Crescendo is going to take game three over Smitty. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. 2-1, just needs one more to keep it moving on. Even had that fast RC route, right? So he had a little bit of extra meter in the tank, even if it just barely didn't kill, had another super available. But man, Crescendo is online right now. Damn. He's playing so well. I cannot count Crescendo, and I'll never, ever count out my boy Nine Moon Smitty. But mm -hmm. Let's see if they're able to bounce back. You got to take that 3-0 now against one of the best Geos on, in North America. Exactly. Got to take two games in a row before Crescendo is able to take one. The momentum is definitely there. But again, like we've seen before, Smitty has a, a handle on the Giovanna. Definitely a lot of character experience. So maybe those past three games were enough to get the download, understand the play style that Crescendo is going for, and maybe make his way around it going into game four. Right. It's got to be able to find your way. It's your classic zoner versus rushdown. you got to find a way to keep your space, to keep them there. But yet, Happy Chaos, he's... He's depending on the style you want to play him, he could be hyper rushdown, he could be hyper zoning, and just like Smitty wants, you want to be right in their face. The IVs from Crescendo are so insane. There's a short window, you got to be able to do that and find their way out with the baiting the first as well. Oh no, Crescendo, let's go, Smitty. You know, had a great offensive sequence over there in the corner, just leaving so many frame traps open. And Crescendo just holding that down back, but still able to fight his way back out, looking at set point right now with the burst advantage as well. Dude, Crescendo has been looking so, you said it earlier, they're so online today. They are ready to catch the biggest cash payout they can get. And Smitty, you gotta fight your way back, dude. Let's make it happen. I wanna see more Guilty Gear. Yep, and I'm loving the uh, the spacing that Crescendo is creating on these block strings. Smitty just trying to fight his way back out with the far slash, with the 6P, but it's gonna get caught up with the DP. This is gonna be so much damage with the super wall break. Oh no, it's a DP, not a DP. It only, a, not even upper body info. The damage, Jay. Oh no. Oh no, the 5H to close it out. Crescendo knocks Smitty down into losers. We see by Jimmy in the chat, right? Saying, bruh, that DP was cash money. If you have a May main saying, damn, that was a lot of damage. That's how you know your combo routes are optimal. Moving on 3-1, it's the next round of winners. Golly, dude. Crescendo coming down to play still on the winner's side sitting comfy sitting pretty you know i i, I came prepared to watch mm. some really high level guilty gear but i i think these these people are taking it to the next level it is beyond our own comprehension they have ascended into a whole new way of gameplay Yep, ascended into the ascent finals day, uh, day number two. Actually, the uh, the final stream that we got going on here. Speaking of the next set that we're going to be having on the stands is going to be Umi Show versus Red Ditto. So we're going to be seeing a little bit of the uh, Soul Bad Guy versus the Ramlethal Valentine here. Oh, now you know we've seen the Soul Bad Guy from Umi Show almost all the way through these ascent qualifiers, and I'm hoping she brings out the soul, maybe brings out the happy chaos. We don't know yet. I'm hoping to see the soul and Red Ditto. We saw them a couple weeks ago. They mm -hmm. killed it, taking it over Aaron Demac. Yeah, they have definitely always been uh, you know, a contender, a really strong competitor pulling up here, but especially strong results in the past couple of weeks. Like you're saying, taking the most, or uh, one of the most recent Nine Moons over Aaron the Mac, even taking out that Kai switch, which was definitely super interesting to see. But we're going to be seeing the sole bad guy pulling up here. I know Umi Show was like, I'm sticking with the Flame of Corruption here. Going to be pulling up against the Ramlethon. Let's see if you can uh, get an advantage going into game number one. Right, I just got word off of production that Umisho played Soul all of yesterday and 3 0'd their entire pool. So let's see if she's Ooh. able to cook, cook up the rest of this top eight bracket. Red Ditto forced to burst right away. There we go, Umisho holding strong. The Denim Soul not uh, not deterred by these new appreciation skins. Said, all right, I'm gonna stick with what I know. Just holding the down back in the corner, not afraid of the pressure from Red Ditto right now. Keeping the pressure 2D. I like it there from Umisho. Keep in there. Fundamentals so precise. The 5P anti-air from Umi Show. Keep it. Strike throw. Here we go. Yep. BRC 2K, but you still got to hold the down back on it. Oh, and finally, 2K of your own. Able to get the back throw. Switch up that corner situation here, but not a lot of health left. Any good mash from Umi Show here might be enough to seal the round back. Quick DP. See you later, Red Ditto. I want to catch the space. I want to be able to get it back. 6S to try and catch some space. Goes Oh my goodness, the Fafnir, hella plus frames, Red RC goes for the close slash. Oh my god, the Fafnir in those boot cut jeans, chip damage cutting straight to the HP bar, and Umi Show takes the first round. Burst still available. He like butter set it up, quick setup. 
All the swords, all the pressure. Umisho knows where to make it out. Red Ditto strike. And the throw, keeping the swords of online. Ooh, a little 5k. Nice challenge with the 6p. Umisho already making her way back out to the mid screen here. Again, a 6p catching you, trying to, you know, get something with that falling aerial. And Poppy Tappy Kosa with a huge 10 tier 1 gift subs. Thank you so much. Oh my day is dude unbelievable that's a whole bunch of a whole bunch of gifted subs i'm a little crazed up Artipato, but umi show still alive can umi show is able to take this round oh no the whiff off the flip kick oh no the yolo sword toss maybe ah. trying to catch a roll from umi show there but the 5k the little leggy just stopping you in your tracks tying up the round count as well oh my gosh you know this is huge big gift for poppy tappy kosa and umi show is gonna keep the pressure on bursting such an offensive burst from umi show yep opting to keep the corner said all right i want to keep the situation going as long as possible still no interrupt on the fafner but there's so much on the mental stack the wild throw finally comes out here wild throw runner so he goes for the empty hop goes for low instead umi show your pressure is on the next level gunflame i like it a little bit of shoto action happening right here keep the fireballs alive oh no fd isn't gonna save you if you can't block your toes you're just waiting for the burst but red ditto not gonna bite so the air throw to close it out for game number one umi show 1-0 right now umi show has grown so much as a player and a lot as a person from the time that we've been watching her and watching her play this video game going from happy chaos and moving to a more fundamental side that is now soul bad guy and you see just how fundam just how fundamental they are in Guilty Gear Strive when we're going to see it here. Yeah, exactly. Super excited to go into the round two here. Or game two, rather. But Red Ditto, we were seeing a lot of good openings from that corner situation. You know, we saw them get mental stacked a little bit, but really leveraging the FD, trying to find those opportunities to challenge. So let's see if in game two, you're able to make it work. Right, making it through. Gets a good 6P to continue happening here. Dash over out of the corner easy peasy lemon squeezy red ditto now on the offense yep that jump bandit revolver coming up so huge for umi show just gonna pull up for the throw though keep it on the mental that js safe jump and still 50 percent meter about to be 100. pulling through oh no the tap dust to keep the combo alive cal the dose laser beam boom oh my god and it does a grip of damage. You gotta remember, there's that extra damage at the end and that super wall break. You're never expecting it. No matter how many times I see the laser super, no matter how many times I see the neutral jump, forcing out the burst from Umi Show. And again, Far Slash just doing so much work. Nice, the side switch route coming out from Red Ditto as well. Oh my God, this is gonna make it happen right here. Right now, Red Ditto gonna spend the bar to get the get the extra damage, get the positive. Oh, what the, oh, what the hell? hell? You kidding? No, 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 no. That last one, I was like, guys, don't worry. It kills. This one, I lost all my channel points. I lost the house, the barn, the farm, everything I could have possibly bet. I am out of investments, and Red Ditto ties it up 1-1. One, one. My family is gone. My wife took the kids. I've lost my apartment. I'm living on the streets. It's gone. Everything is gone. I thought Umi Show was alive. I thought we were gonna another, get another guest situation, but no, she exploded. Yeah, exactly. Know. You know, Soul not one of the uh, lower health characters in the game, right? So we're like, okay, Soul's got the guts. The Flame of Corruption will definitely hold on for at least a little bit longer, but Red Ditto purely optimizing here, going into game number three. Golly, you see, you've seen it. We saw Red Ditto play super, super well against Aaron Demack and be able to close it out. This is why they're in the Ascent Top 8. They've shown just how strong they are as a player and as a competitor, keeping their nerves cold as ice as they continue their offense. Oh, there we go. Another laser super. Red Ditto. You know, we're not offline. You can't hear the crowd right now, but I know Red Ditto is like, all right, y'all like that laser super? Let me do it three times in three rounds, but SDP says get off me. Great stuff here. Umi Show living on a pixel and a prayer. Oh, no. You know, I, I, I like it. I like it. That's a good option. Exactly. A low commit. Just check, uh, you know, right in front of you in case Umi Show decides to send it. All you need is that little tap on the forehead. So 5P is just enough to do it. The head pad to take that first round. Good spacing there from Red Ditto. Umi Show is trying to look to 6P, the disjointed sword, but I don't think you're going to be able to catch it. The swords are just so disjointed. Uh oh, the pressure from Umi Show. Yep, the 2k coming up so huge to try and interrupt a lot of these soul bad guy frame traps, but finally the double jump JH out of the sky. It's it's pretty difficult to challenge, you know, as soul directly right above you, but Gunflame gets you a lot of screen space here. 
It does. It's keeping that fireball mentality. Gets the quick combo, but drops the 2k DP to continue it. Oh, no. Dash Not cancel like side switch into pull up throw. Not even going to use the super set. All right. I'm feeling a little silly. Let me just close it out with the far slash RC. Red Ditto up one more game. Red Ditto really, really coming through there. Finding that clutch option we talked, I talked about it just not even 30 seconds ago. Cold as ice. Yeah, absolutely. Looking mm. calm, cool, and collected, even after that first game, right? It was pretty quick for Umi Show, able to take it. But ever since then, game two, game three have been an absolute rundown for Red Ditto. So I wonder what Umi Show is going to be able to do to stop that momentum here. You know, thinking about it, right, Umi Show has been known to get those quick, quick adaptations over their opponent. And Red Ditto is known to play, I call it fighting game chess knowing okay. exactly what Umisha wants to do and when mm -hmm. she wants to do it. And being uh, that just that extra step ahead is what puts Red Ditto, I think, just a little bit in front in this set right now. All righty, let's see it. And I know, uh, you know, from Hotashi himself, he was like, you know, Umisho really likes to just like run the offense, you know, Bandit Revolver 50-50. You know, she loves to just like, you know, make her way in, absolutely bulldog her way past the neutral. But let's see if she's able to bring it back in game number four here. Gonna get caught up by a counter hit far slash, but unfortunately the sword explosion, not gonna get you that full convert. The patience from Red Ditto keeping Umisho in the corner. That correct spacing is stopping the get, get out option, but moving up just a little bit too far. Umisho found their way out. The pressure from Umisho now as the sword's coming back. Nice, nice pickup with the 5k, but oh no, the 2k just barely gonna whiff, but great recognition that the combo dropped, not gonna whiff that DP. Not gonna give Red Ditto the opportunity to fight back. Nice, the Vortex going straight under that far slash, which has been making so much mileage for Red Ditto this whole set. Dude, that empty hop, or the empty hop low off the Red RC is so clean. I've been getting hit by it every time. Red Ditto doesn't die, but it gets the OTG. Umi Show striking back again. They're looking to close it out. I think we're. I think Umi Show wants a game five. They want it right now. A clean first round. No, the IV off of the 5H, but unfortunately, it's still going to get you caught in that Rekka. SDP gets you a little bit of screen space, but still kind of stuck in the corner here. Nice. The pressure from Umi Show. Mortobato, you get hit. Ah, DP. Oh, no. <laughs> yep, force the burst out. Red Ditto is not trying to take it to a game five right now, but still stuck in the corner of the IBFD. But Umi Show is still knocking on your doors. She is no longer asking. She is taking the health bar. Should be able to close it out with a tyrant break to bring us to game number five. Oh, that's what you love to see. Umi Show striking back game five. What an adaptation. What a, just clean, clean, solid fundamental Guilty Gear. That's what y'all achieved. Yo, if y'all in the chat are liking this good old Guilty Gear, give me some ones, please. You already know. Give us some ones, and it's easy. Go click the match, Reno. You can get it done before this next match starts. Keep it rocking. Let's rock and let's roll. And let's roll right into game number five here, bringing us to that last game in the set. We are already, you know, getting such close games. Even uh, we're still in winner's round one. We haven't even made it to like the uh, the normal top eight that you guys are used to. Everyone started in winners here at the Ascent finale. So definitely still close sets, even as we uh, just start off the bracket. Like, you know, we've been get, we've gotten so many great sets so far. Red Ditto forced to burst here in that situation. You don't want to get underneath the offense. That is Umi Show as she has such great pressure and such great offense from the soul bad guy. Red RC down to keep the combo going. Holy moly, Jason, what a route. Oh my God. Cashing out. Don't need a laser super to do a grip of damage with soul bad guy over here. Oh, got the positive bonus available as well. Going to be seeing the 50-50 off of the Bandit Revolver, but an option we haven't seen just goes straight into the wild throw. Red Ditto living on a pixel, but that 2B going to close it out. Looking at set point for Umi Show. Great stuff there from Umi Show, keeping that pressure going. Far as slash 5H to keep it going on the pressure. Oh, no, but you got yourself between a rock and a hard place. Umi Show keeping the plus frames going. Empty hop, it is minus. Yep, far slash 5H. It's not going to get you a bit confirmed, but yes, the whiff Dyro fast RC pull up into keeping the string going. The back dash JS going to keep you right out of range for uh, the DP. Okay, here we go. Fa last round, final game. Who's going to losers? 
Oh no, Umisho trying to swing there, but getting caught out by the sword toss, but that just means one less sword for Red Ditto until it comes back all the way from the other corner. And look at the corner carry. Look how long it took for Ram to get sword number two back. And first is available, but it's so scary here. Opting to save it there. Red Ditto looking to save it for one more scenario. Maybe to Gold Burst to get some extra meter. 50 meter to burn here. Has all of the offense. Gets a, gets a great throw. Continues that offense. It's all Red Ditto right now. The patience. PRC. Oh my god. To keep the pressure going. And you definitely blocked this tyrant. Ah! Right to the, oh no. You must have thought you had 50 meter. But thankfully, Umi Show still PRCing. Not recognizing in time. Thought it was a mortar bottom too. YRC stops the situation here. Bring it back to the neutral. Oh my god, Boomy Show looking for it. Red Ditto ah! now on the offense, you're stuck in the corner. You have all of these swords, you get to jump out the IPs from Red Ditto. Burst is available from Umi Show. Red's gonna look for it this whole time. Oh my god, ah! the side switch, oh, the, the burst, burst is out. You back in the corner. Oh my god, Umi Show is gonna take it. Oh my god. Bandit Revolver 2, my beloved, off of the Game 5 last round situation. Now, I didn't want to jinx it. I didn't want to put the commentator curse out into the air. But every time I have seen Umi show on the stand across Nine Moons, Ember's Monthly Charity, every bracket I've commentated her in, she's down like two games, you know, it's 1-2 or 0-2. And then I see her come back with an absolute insane, like, demon revenge momentum to just get that reverse sweep. And I was like, you know, maybe we'll see it again. But I was like, if I say it... I might jinx it. And we know the power of the commentator's curse, but Umi Show just pulling up here. 3 2, moving on to winners round one. Incredible stuff here. Like, y'all, y'all can't even really comp. I can't even comprehend what in the world is happening right now. We're seeing some of the best players throughout this entire weekend. It started out yesterday during Saturday. You got all these pools filled with some top level action. You've seen them play at your majors. You saw them playing Combo Breaker. Combo Breaker, CEO Taku. Uh, Frosty Fostings Evolution Series. Like, this is insane that they're playing in this awesome online tournament brought to y'all by Nine Moons. This is so cool. Mm -hmm. And we are bringing us over here into Losers Round 1. So Danny is running a little bit late. So we're just going to head on over to Losers. Going to be having FG Marvello versus Nine Moons, Smitty. And guys, we have this $2,500 prize pool. The loser of this... 2 in the top eight still gets $63. So you still got a little extra pocket change to cover some venue fees for your local. So super insane how much support we've gotten. But Smitty trying to fight his way out of the corner here against Marvello and the cross up forces out the burst. Big counter hit the IB from Smitty. That was actually super huge. To IB that far slash that uh, Marvello has is really, really difficult. It's such a fast move. And to do it, be able to do it on reaction like Smitty has been showing us, Dear God, it's incredible. The dash blocks from Smitty keeping that offense going. FD, incredible. Yep, there we go. Far slash still undeterred by the six Ps. Marvello, not a lot of help left on the board. Oh no, had a micro delay. Looking for the burst, but Smitty gonna delay as well. Finally able to get that spacing. Marvello, not a lot of help to gamble here. You have a good amount of meter for the FD. Oh, just pull up for the Rekka. Oh my God, goes up. A, A, A. Okay, finishes it down right there. Gonna keep the corner, not gonna go for the wall break. Interesting. Gets a side switch. Alpha Blade. Ah! The match! Great 2P coming out from Smitty in that scramble situation. Both of you just need one good tap to be able to move on, take the round. And again, the cross up gonna get you that knockdown. Huge, huge offensive pressure now from Smitty. Nine Moon's own gets his throw. DP out of there. See you later. BRC goes to the instant overhead. Smitty with the tech on board. Oh my god. And with that BRC slowdown, able to get the full confirm into the close slash there. Great routing from Smitty, but it's not going to save you in the post wall break situation. If Marvello is able to get the positive bonus here, you are in a rough spot. Still, oh no. 50 meter about to be 100. Oh. No, but the burst gets blocked. No punish. The gold burst <laughs> and the tap does here. <laughs> How are you alive? Marvello, how are you alive? Hey, 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 hey. You survive and you come out with the W. Marvello, you are out of your mind. The boy who lived, the Hokage, bringing it back to the clan, tying up the round count here. But Marvello, the Leaf Village, is, <laughs> this fate is in your hands right now. 2P stops the approach from Smitty, but still the 6P gonna get a big counter hit here. What a huge 6P there from here from Smitty to keep that pressure going. They might look to kill here. And I, yeah, I think this is gonna take it here. Cool. All the Just work like that. for that comeback from Marvello. Still gonna get shot through the sky, through the glass. Smitty gonna take game number one with the Deus Ex Machina.
JSS Monkey, you know, we've seen that spoot super time and time again. And no matter how many times I see it, it is so sick. Yeah. Zooms in on the face, does the gun thing, brah, hits the gat. Mm -hmm. And it's so rare that we get to see it, but they have a separate animation for when Happy Chaos has like the cross up Deus Ex Machina, right? The shots behind the back. Oh, yeah. It's crazy because like he, he doesn't even need to point the gun back, right? It's literally just magic bullets that are directed by the gun. If he shot forward, they would still hit. He's like, you know, I got to get a little bit of style points on the mic here. So that's incredible. You know, I'm going to ask here, what is uh, what is that uh, website Squidge Luke is using to find the stats on these players here? Man. I don't know. I want to say it's PG stats, but Squidge, thank you for putting all those stats into the chat. There's so much history behind these players. They've been fighting tooth and nail the past few weeks to make it into the top eight of Ascent Finals. So we got to put some shine on them. Oh, the FD keeps the cross up in front of you, but finally just going to go for a grab. Good stuff here. Keeps the pressure. The offensive burst here for Marvello over Smitty. All the pressure now. Here we go. Old Rekka into the RC, keep the pressure going. Backdash on the sweep, gonna block the cross up, but still stuck in the corner here. Moving through the pressure now for Marvello. I really like the FD break in the air that Marvello is using to stop their momentum and get some higher gravity. And Smitty now with the pressure gets the confirmed curse ball. Uh oh. Uh oh. Smitty, oh. I'm gonna send you straight through the wall. Take that round. In. Impressive stuff there from Smitty. Securing that round with ease with six bullets still in hand. Uh -oh. oh, the sweep. The OTG Rekka isn't quite the knockdown you're looking for. It's still stuck in the corner. Not too. The triple back dash. Set. I am not trying to take any of these shots right now. I'm stone cold sober. Knocking on your doors to try and open you up. But the IBFD actually makes that third Rekka whiff. Great stuff. That's good. Uh, that's good in game knowledge here to stop the shenanigans that Chip Zanif is able to bring to the table. If you're able to IBFD the second hit of the Rekka, it makes anything fake as hell. You can just stop his offense in the blink of an eye. Oh, jumping straight over and knows you're trying to swing behind that clone, but force out the burst from Smitty here. Marvello, you just need to get in one more time. Although Smitty has the concentration buff and full bullets, it's going to be real difficult. Still has the curse buff applied as well, but finally going to make your way in with the dash 2k. The Rekka fast oh. RC Marvello takes the round. Incredible, incredible stuff. Go back to another third round right here. Yo, what's up? We got, I've seen so many newcomers here in the chat. Welcome, everybody. This is the Nine Wins Ascent Top 8. Y'all are tuning in now. Make sure y'all use those Macharino codes. Come on. Yeah, guys, we got 55 codes left. Thank you guys for claiming them so far, but we got so many more to claim. So many more games on the board here, but 2K not gonna keep Smitty in the corner. Nice grab. Okay, JS safe jump into the steady aim pressure. Nice back dash into the throw whiff, into the whiff burst. And Smitty just waiting for Marvello to use all of his resources. Can feel the panic in his eyes right now. All this pressure here from Marvello. Smitty has to YRC to get all that stuff off of him. Moving through, what a 6P stops the JH. They're gonna break the wall here in big positive bonus for, wait a minute. Oh, I lied. Uh, Smitty I is a wild tech shenanigans enjoyer, but out of concentration for it now, you gotta use the normals of Happy Chaos, which are not too bad. The universal air throw bring us back down to the ground. Get another game on the board for Smitty, 2-0 right now. 2-0, Smitty with the combo meal to boot. You know, we've seen it time and time again. Chip, happy chaos, happy chaos versus the chip. It goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I love how Smitty is able to adapt, how Marvello is bringing their offense. Not a lot of use of the Rekka, but a really great use of IBFD, stops, stops the pressure, and great defensive option YRC, and able to just jump back out of stuff. Yeah, exactly. Leveraging the defensive options that, you know, the entirety of the cast has. Of course, you know, Happy Chaos does get a lot of reward out of getting these 2P, these 5P mashes. But otherwise, you know, no invincible uh, reversal available except for the burst and the YRC. So really leveraging them well to keep Marvello out here. But still, Marvello keeping you in that corner situation. Corner situation, keeping it through. It's all going to be all marvello right now as he has all the resources and big wall break here positive bonus burst still the boot oh, smitty on a pixel of health able to get a little bit of pressure going with the steady aim but no time to get the concentration super tried to pull up for a grab the 2k getting around for marvello here great so let's see if marvello is able to keep that offense and now have to go through and get the reverse 3-0 sweep over smitty a very talented happy guess wow the footsies from smitty incredible 
Yep, making full use. Saw that Smitty just barely mismanaged that concentration, running out and taking full opportunity to bring our way over to the corner of the throw. Keep the pressure going here. 50% meter available, but the sweep gonna open you up once again, catching up the backdash. Backdash is through. Rekka, empty lows from Marvello, gaining so much mileage, jumping over the clone, keeping it there. The dash box from Marvello. Smitty going in, tap dust. First still available. Crosslock gonna open you up again, reapply that curse. Got so much concentration in the bank. 50% meter to refill it if we need. Bullets available as well. Great sub has meter to burn, looking for it. The concentration is reloading. He gets the hit. It's gonna be Smitty taking it to the last round. Looking for looking for match point. Yep, looking at set point here. No burst available, but should be coming up in just a little bit. Marvello has to make the most of it before Smitty gets that resource. There it is. You got to burst right away to keep that offensive pressure going. Nice 6P to keep it going. Rekka 1, 6P's Rekka 1. Oh, no. Yep, Smitty inspired by the 6P that brought him back down to the ground and said, all right, I got it too. I know you're looking at that chip. Bar slash 50% meter available, but JH just going to keep Smitty on his toes left, right. I can't tell anymore. A whiff on the 2P, but, you know, low committal button. Not really going to get much punish out of it. That's the thing about his problem, Smitty now staying back, using all that concentration, three left in the mag. Backdash is the throw. You are incredible, Smitty. You're going to close it out here right now. Smitty, three, zero, over Marvello. Knocking Marvello out of the Ascent series. Our first homie going home, but still super well played. You made it all the way this far at the top eight of the, uh, you know, you qualified for the, the top 16, made it over to top eight. So super well played. Thank you for coming, Marvello. And uh, hopefully we get to see you again next time. Dude, Marvello is out of this world. Yo, chat, please show some love for Marvello. He is one of the best out there. You know, we've seen it. You're still going home with a little bit of prize money, dude. Mm -hmm. 63 smacks. I say, hey, that's worth it. You get to buy a whole new game or if something is on sale in your Steam wish list, go for it. Exactly. You got some options there. Maybe pay some venue local fees. Maybe pay some registration for some side games. Pulling up oh. for your next major. But pulling up to the stand once again. Our last winner's round one match. We're going to be seeing Jack versus DM Danny. Okay. Here we go. I've seen these two battle it out in many a tournament. Whether it be Nine Moons. Whether it be Backpack Brawl. Whether it be Guilty Ear. Jack is one of the best happy chaoses I've seen in a long time. So fundamental, but yet Danny using Kai Kiss, the fundamental king himself. Yeah, Jack, one of those uh, unknown OD happy chaoses that randomly started pulling up to netplay brackets. You know, I think they used to be a tower grinder, and then one of their friends was like, oh, have you ever pulled up to any of these brackets? And they were like, no. So absolutely tearing it up, but Danny's saying, all right, I've been out here in the bracket scene for quite some time, so you're gonna have to fight back to try and get a set on me. Great stuff, moving it through, looking it through. As we see, Jack and Danny have an 11 to seven set history in Jack's favor. And the last time they played was Backpack Brawl just two days ago. Oh, wow. This is, a, this is a pretty recent run back here. Jack fighting back with the 2P. If they get so much corner carry here, should be able to super confirm as well. Great stuff, gonna see the positive bonus here for Jack. Has to get it, has to get any damage with Danny. Has all that meter, has a full stick of butter. Can add so much flavor to whatever combo he has. Uh-oh. Jack with the fundies yet again sets it up. Deus Ex Machina. Yeah, interesting choice post wall break from Jack to just go for that guaranteed curse setup. Now we see a lot of happy chaoses, you know, pulling up for that close range pressure, but knows that Danny, you know, he's got that dog in him. He's willing to let the ride the lightning rock. No, but not able to block up to the concentration super. The OTG takes it for game number one. Jack had the right idea, but unfortunately just not able to block in time. Oh my golly gracious. What a turnout there for Danny as he's able to secure that game over over jack and i'm not gonna count jack out known to be one of the best happy chaoses on the leaderboard and i've seen in a lot of brackets he comes in he, he came out of nowhere too right yeah out of nowhere comes his guy jack what a tag just he's just jack nobody knows about me yeah, it's funny seeing the in-game name and the bracket registration tag Jack, and then you see the Twitter ad, and it's like, Rare Chew Jelly. You would never believe that those are the same person, but they are, in fact, the same unknown OD, Happy Chaos, trying to make their way into winner's round two here, but Danny definitely giving Jack a run for his money right now. Right, and we'll see a lot of fundamental play, not just come out of Danny, but out of Jack as well. 
you know, we see Kai, he's the fundamental king himself. Good 6P from Jack. He stops that air pressure that Danny's trying to go for. Ooh, pull up the big guts. Yep, you had the save jump, but DP right after, no one's looking for that. Stun different. Oh, actually just <laughs> opting to hold on to the meter, but Jack, you know, doing a little delay match said, all right, if you're not gonna RC, I'm not gonna let you get the turn for free. Great placing here. Danny gets the scum dipper, looks for the first. Danny finds it, has enough meter to spend it again. I swear if Jack's dead, oh my God. That wall actually had a lot more health than I thought. I thought I saw it crack a little bit earlier. I was like, oh man, it's just barely not gonna be able to kill, but still Danny absolutely cashing out in the damage here, trying to make sure he has to interact as few times as possible against Jack to be able to kill. Look again, doing a solid 70%. And getting that positive bonus as well. Throw oh, no. gets to counter it on the back dash. He's gonna look to take game two in the fashion of ease. Perfect for Danny. He's looking to close it out 3 0 and send this man to the loser's side. Rose, Danny is evil. Evil appreciative. I feel like Danny's the only one who can like reasonably double bracket stuff because his games end up going so fast that he's like, oh, give me two minutes. I'll be there on the stream. They're like, uh, are you sure? We'll DQ you. Otherwise, they're like, oh, I'm already done. All right, I'll pull up. I'll like, pull up. I'm already here. <laughs> they are so explosive on the Kai Key skate that they're just able to keep these games going. So game number three, let's see if Jack can bring the momentum back. All right, moving it through here, continues it up. Easy, fundamental stuff, fireball, a lot of long range pokes. Easy, beautiful stuff. Damn, y'all calling him Jack from Celestial in the chat? That's kind of godlike, right? The the he's, history of being the tower grinder. Oh, where is he from? What region? Celestial. He's, he's, he's the just Celestial. He's the god. He's a god on his character. He's so clean with it. Uh oh, throw to make it happen. Set it up. The auto time meaty from the far slash from Danny. You're a little crazy for that, homie. Uh oh. Oh, trying to keep Danny out here, but forcing out the burst. You have the meter for the concentration super, but not a lot of bullets left. Yeah, trying to get that reload, and Danny gets so much space, but Jack is just going to meet you right in the middle here, getting an opening with that cross up JD. That was huge, a huge cross up JD. Going to set it up positive bonus. He does have half a stick of butter to work with. Going to look to get any sort of offense going, but Scum Dipper from Danny has all the meter to make it happen. Going to see the wall. Big pressure now. Car dash cancel, looking for a throw. The fundamentals from Danny. Gotta watch out if you're Jack. The run up throw. Oh my god. Oh my god. The fast RC steady aim into the curse burst bait. Jack is looking absolutely stylish right now. Keeping Danny away from set point, but how much longer can you hold on? 2K2D spends the IB. It tries to bait a button with the instant air dash back. Yo, what's up, Blood saying? Welcome to the chat, brother. Welcome to Nine Moons. And we're seeing Jack with a huge coast to coast carry from east to west. Yeah, just barely not enough meter for the super wall break, but 50% post wall break with that positive bonus looking super strong here. But Danny trying to bait something out. So many back dashes, so many air back dashes to try and get Jack to whiff, but still gonna land here. Super available as well. It might just kill the king. He does a lot of damage, but he's gonna survive here. Has that extra meter to burn. Positive bonus. Now you gotta be really careful. Jack can now jump. <gasps> Danny got that dog. Rido Za Lightning into the PRC. Pick up with the 6H doing so much damage. Ride the Lightning is a pretty good disorder as it turns out. Needs 100 <gasps> meter to convert off of. No, but the HGP gonna whiff from the skies. The close slash on the way down. Jack back down to earth. One game bringing us to one two right now that dp that was a believer dp that's all that was danny was a believer and he went for it and sadly sometimes you believe and you don't believe hard enough that's why the dp didn't hit jack takes the game he's still alive yeah sometimes you <laughs> shoot for the moon you land among the stars but that star is looking for vengeance trying to get the reverse sweep right now again jack still has to win two more games before danny is able to take one but one good game is off to a good start here. Great stuff here from both of them. Danny has to close it out. Jack has to climb the mountain. That is the king of the Kai players is Danny. What an easy start here. Positive bonus, quick and easy. JS, what a 6P. It's never a whiff shot if Jack does it. If Jack does it, it's a gap shot. True, yeah. that's the kind of mentality you gotta have. If Danny does a stun dipper, it's not a scum dipper. It's a skill dipper, baby, forcing out the burst from Jack here. Curse is applied. 50% meter still available after the concentration super just shot to the skies right now. 
gap bullets engaged here for Jack. Has the boat, has the ah! round in the mag. Oh no, but the skill dipper secured for Danny. Here comes the pressure looking for the 6P again, and he gets it, Jack, with the BRC. The stun gapper, I love that, Nick. Red RC to boot. Danny trying to end this round, no problem. He's gonna be able to get it. Vapor thrusto. Mm -hmm. HDP to take it. Even with that scaled combo, you still have that fixed wall break damage. And now Danny looking at set point here. 2K into the delay throw. Look at that dash cancel. Already bringing us over to the corner here. Great stuff, Jack. Has it going. We're probably going to look to go coast to coast yet again. He sees it. What a combo from Jack. Far slash to send it off. Has it yet again. Another half stick of butter. Yep, might have been a miss on the super, but it's all good. Jack, not too afraid to fight the neutral here, but you know, everyone's a little afraid of the Stun Dipper, right? You're trying to backwalk to make sure that Danny can't just uh, pull up on you, but first to keep that corner as well. That was so smart there from ah. Danny. Oh my God. Ugh. Oh, that's too so cool. scary. Yeah. One good hit should be enough for Danny to take the round, but Jack, anti-air counter hit 5P, and you know we're cashing out on the Happy Chaos here. You have to fully cash out, get that positive bonus. Use the Deus Ex Machina. Somebody break the glass. Somebody called the janitor. Glass everywhere. Yep, again, opting for the curse, trying to catch that approach up. The 2S is going to whiff, but Jack, the gap shot. Engage Deus Ex Machina. Break the wall one more time. There we go. Final round. Final round. Hope y'all are ready. Jack is not out of it yet. Whoa, 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 production. It's okay. Oh, We're getting a little back to the game here. Still, still on set point for Danny trying to hail Mary it with the dash Fuja arc. But Jack is going to hold on here. I know we got some cool shirts on. I know you're trying to peek the drip right now. But bring us back to the game. The clone going to get stun dippered straight on through. Right on through. Danny does have meter to burn. You got to watch out for that five frame low there from Danny. Jack with the zoning option. Okay, you have to burst there. Jack's burst might get online. The stun dipper for Danny. The close range, it's gonna deal a lot of damage, Jay. Here we go. Vapor thrust, not, va not vapor thrust, but the direct clat, a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, 5K trying to catch a 2S from Jack here. The Stun Dipper takes it. RC to 3 1 Jack and send him down into losers. Danny heading over to winner semis. Oh my goodness. Not the Scum Dipper, the Skill Dipper, the Skill Gapper. Strikes again, Danny, three to one over one of the best happy chaoses in the nation. Absolutely, the Sun Dipper just sliding all the way across the screen. And speaking of sliding, I'm getting a call from production right now. It seems we have a don't care bear waiting in the wings, heading on to the stand for a commentary, not for the games. So I'm going to be subbing out real quick. I will see you guys in just a little bit. So hope you guys stay tuned. Send don't care bear some love, BRB. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Jesu is out. Don't Care Bear will be making his way in just like that. We have Don't Care Bear. Bring yourself in, brother. We are here, and I am super, super excited, guys. I have been watching every single one of these sets here in the caster's room in the 9 minutes headquarters, and it is absolutely going to be crazy. We're going to have Jack versus Red Ditto. Jack still in the hot seat here and uh, getting a burst really early off of Red Ditto there. Easy stuff here. Red Ditto now, now forced in this bad offense we have the names a little bit swapped that's okay we can fix that here yeah we're Red taking a lot of damage and yeah that's uh, no surprise there ramothal does a lot of damage but she cannot take a lot of damage and uh honestly with the barefoot action she's gonna get the toe stepped on it's gonna hurt a little extra you know what I'm saying? and uh they use x back-to-back -back wall breaks back-to-back -back positive bonus situations for jack here and uh Maybe that hot seat is giving Jack a nice little buff because uh, right now Red Ditto is definitely trying to fight back into this round. Looking to make it happen. Gets it. Easy, easy. Jack securing that first round with ease. Red Ditto not really having a chance to strike back. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of striking back, a nice little counter hit 5k from Jack and we're going to get the roll pressure going. Moving through Jack, keeping it on. The pressure is on. Moving through Red Redditto opened like a can of beans. Oh, what a backdash. There we go. Really, really nice stuff. And Jack is cooking. Deus Ex Machina. Some call it Fate. Others call it the Hand of Happy Chaos. And either way, you're going to get shot through the wall in that first breadstick on the board. Going over to Jack. 
What Ooh. a way to get it started here. <laughs> there he is. There he is. That's all right. Yo, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Don't care, Barry. He's back on the scene. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's okay. It's all right. That's okay. Keep it a chill. Keep it a chill. He's on the water. Break. Hey, you know, <laughs> Jay Sue by the water cooler there, keeping you on your toes, everybody. And uh, <laughs> man, we're going to get right back into it here with Red Ditto versus Jack. And man, this top eight is amazing so far, guys. And I'm glad that each and every one of you out there in chat land is here to share this experience with us. And uh, damn, what a way to spend a Sunday evening watching some good ass guilty here, watching some players play their hearts out for this massive $2,500 pot. And uh, we're gonna get into it here. 6H and some sword pressure, nice IB from Jack. Gonna get out with the funny gun man, forcing the burst off of Red Ditto. And here we go. Right away, we see Jack was pushed into the wall and forced was able to find the way out for red ditto but yet we're back into that wham bam neutral situation jack catching a stray gunshot onto red ditto and we're gonna go coast to coast here bear indeed and uh you know those the the ramlethal color man i gotta be honest zero syndicate said it best i really like the the symbiote shadows that each of them have like I, that's head cannon now like the the blue symbiote shadows looking too good and that pressure was looking good until Jack had enough. Mash, a bar, a call it what you will. Either way, we're taking this round and we're running with it. Dude, Jack looking super, super clean with it right now. Has to keep it there because Red Ditto, he may be getting, he may be starting off just a little bit cold, but that's okay. Has to find their rhythm against Jack, one of the best happy chaoses in the nation. Yeah, that is uh, no easy feat. And oh my goodness, 2S whiff, but the gunshot got your back if nobody's got your back. That being said, back against the wall against Ram Lethal Valentine, not where you want to be. Look at that health bar evaporate. Mortal Bato. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Ah, yellow RC. Okay, why RC got off me? Okay, I got one of those two right into a back row incident, and here we go. Red Ditto answering back really nicely there. Final round here in this game, number two here for Jack and Red Ditto. Looking to close it out, Jack and Red Ditto trying to get a breadstick on the board here. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, Ram with all the big sword normals literally reaching out and touching the hearts and minds of the people here. Moving it through as they're going to ascend all the way up here. There's 54 codes left for Maturino, y'all. Make that happen. Try and increase that bot bonus as we ascend past the stars and into the galaxies above here. Just as Red Ditto is trying to do here with this pressure against Jack in the oh. back. Oh my goodness, it's, it's, it's a rare aerial back row incident, but damn if it's not as effective. And uh, Deus Ex is going to break it through the wall and put uh, Red Ditto in a really bad situation. Happy Chaos, positive bonus, back to the wall, gunshot pressure. We combat roll through and we put a second game on the board. There's no way that, there's no way Deus Ex drop in there. We, we already know. It's going to hit from no matter what range you're at. The man, mm -hmm. the myth, the legend, Happy Chaos. He is indeed a gear. He's got all the magical powers. And, you know, he, he was, some may say he is that guy. He is that man, but he's, he's definitely that man with the gun. Yeah, he's the man with the gun for sure. And uh, can't wait to see him uh, mix and just just honestly mash his way to victory here potentially in this next game because so far it has been a very dominant performance from Jack. And uh, it could just be that hot seat bonus, you know, staying in there already warmed up and uh, maybe Red Ditto just maybe wasn't sitting there in the background, keeping the, keeping the stick hot, keeping it ready to go. And maybe we're seeing a couple games to warm up and maybe Red Ditto turns it on right here. That being said, burst early off of the counter hit 2D, trying to get the pressure going and sustain it. But Jack still has a burst available to get away from this corner pressure potentially. Red Ditto, oh, the burst gets baited, put it in the bag. Red Ditto's gonna cash out on this damage, Mortal Bato. Oh my goodness. Might have invented magic, but he did not invent defense, so he just melted there, and Jack is just in a bad spot. But again, you got the gun to hold your back, hold it down in neutral, and in the scrambles, who, what else do you need? Don't need much more. Goes to the instant overhead on the ID. Gets a Deus Ex Machina. No wall slums here today. Here, Bear. You know what? I'm kind of I'm kind of happy to see that. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with that because it puts it puts Ramlethal in a very bad situation. Yeah, there was a hundred meter, but Happy Chaos gets the positive bonus, engages in that zoning, makes you chew through some of that meter, and suddenly you're way less threatening, as we saw right there. And Red Ditto, unlike in Street Fighter Six, you don't get to keep that meter between rounds, so uh, you just lost all that we had there and uh making it up right now with the big bombo in the corner 
Oh. Ramthal doing damage. Ramthal going crazy. Ramthal going wild. It's all red ditto. Looking on a perfect right here. Versus about to be available. Strike and the throw. Wind chill wipers. Clean the glass. Seven oh, golden lead. Indeed. And that was a very, very nice round for red ditto there. Okay, ran with all the pressure. Didn't have the sword, but we uh, still managed to maintain here. And uh, nice little jump out, but we're jumping right into the arms of Ram with all. First forced out from Jack here. Great sub, JP. A little bit of connection here. What a conversion from Red Ditto. Mortobato. Mm, no surprise there. <clears throat> Could have maybe used the Calvados, but honestly, uh, full supers just do such a big chunk of damage here. Ooh, instant overhead with the BRC, and this should be a breadstick on the board for Red Ditto. Morto Bato, our problems away, and now we go up one to two here versus Jack. Holding on, no 3 0 today, baby. No 3 0. No, absolutely not. Fighting back, Red Ditto. And that's what you see from all these players, right? You get a bunch of adaptation. I talked about it with Jesu in the earlier sets. You see the adaptation, you see how clear just these, how clear and strong these players are, and how they're able to move and ascend past this professionalism that we see during majors this is some of the best guilty gear i've seen in a long time yeah absolutely these guys you know still on that grind really pushing their characters and uh giving you that good guilty gear that we're seeing today despite you know the newness that we see you know some street fighters going on we're still on that guilty grind and happy to bring you that beautiful big pop bonus here at the ascent and again burst being forced out early from red ditto but jack just capitalizing and right back in there we're going wall to wall Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, what a shot, and great stuff there from Jack. Deus Ex Machina to cash out the damage and reload your gun. It's just so weird, you know, you shoot every bullet you have in the magazine and somehow you just end up with a full, you know, full reload. It's, it's magic, you might say. It's and, magic, uh, it's magic, you know. Oh my goodness, the, the big sword normals, man. They, they never fail to impress, and uh, we're just going to flip on through, force the burst off of Jack, and go right back to neutral. Going to take our turn back with the 2K. Nicely done. Red Ditto really trying to fight back in the set here. Great stuff, Red Ditto. He is fighting back, and he's found his way in through Jack. Jack's defense looking a little wild, as I say, as he gets Lance 2. IBFDs in a row, and he gets the punish for it. Okay, Jack, I'll be quiet. You don't need to worry about it. <laughs> Oh, we cross back up, forcing the burst off of Red Ditto, and uh, no more get out of jail free cards, and this is set point for Jack right here. Not a good position to be in for Red. Gotta get this offense going, and we get the tap we need. Ram Lethal Valentine going to live up to the namesake and uh, move us into another round three here. Dude, Gla, you're right. Sometimes I get caught talking my smack, and they hear it. They know I'm talking smack. They know I want to see the best gear possible, and Jack's going to bring it. No wall slump. Gonna get the positive bonus to clear that space that you need to get away from Ram with all. Mm -hmm. And no meter for Red Ditto right now. A very dominant position, but a very nice back throw. Gonna get it started for Red Ditto here. Burst not coming out, not gonna be baited today. Just gonna strike throw in the corner. Here we go. <gasps> oh, just like that, Bear. This might be the round. It's gonna be a Calvados. Calvados, the big chunk of damage. And once again, he might have invented magic, but he did not invent defense. Ouch. <laughs> he falls to the hand of Ramlethal Valentine as we go to game five, y'all. I hope y'all are ready. I see y'all in chat. Yo, can we get some ones for the homie Jack? And we oh can we get goodness. some twos for our homies for Red Ditto? Come on now. Yeah, this is uh <clears throat> quite quite an energetic set here. And oh my goodness, just, I love I'm loving everybody out there in the chat tonight. Thank you so much for being out here. And Dude, I can't it, believe I can't believe this is the finale. Like, I can't believe we're like, we're here, we've gone the distance and we've still, you know, we've got a little bit of le little bit left to go, but it's just, it's crazy that, you know, all this is the culmination of all this work and we're seeing not only the Nine Moon staff work, but the culmination of all these players work going into, you know, getting here at the big show here at the Ascent. Yo, shout outs to Ram's Footstool, the Ramathal enjoyer I know, just coming, out, coming off of a win in the beginner beatdown. Shout outs to Ram Footstool and Red Ditto with the Calvin dose to secure that damage onto Jack. Yeah, oh my goodness. The, Ramlethal's damage is just, just disastrous for Happy Chaos. And the 2K stop in the 6S and it tracks really nicely done, but we're right back in there with the combat roll mix. YRC, get off me. Great stuff. 2K, 2D, set up the wreck of pressure into the sword. The delay, Red Ditto fighting wow. against the mountain that is Jack. 
and the mountain seems to crumble. It's crazy because, you know, dynamite, you know, tends to crumble rocks and maybe we're seeing an explosive comeback from Red Ditto here. Has a one round advantage. Maybe we can lean on it, but this pressure from Happy Chaos in the corner is potent. And we're gonna see a Deus Ex. Jack gonna keep the integrity. Doesn't gonna go, is not gonna go for the wall slump. Moving it through, gets positive bonus. And the safe jump to boot. Tap Dust is available, gets the little mini combo. Final game, final round. Double Luigi, here we go. And the seven golden letters, you gotta feel good if you're Jack after that one, keeping that momentum, but the big counter hit round start, no burst to save you. And this is Ramlethal corner pressure time. Ram party time, if you will. Where are you jumping to? If you can't get out of here when Red Ditto has the spacing so perfect. My man has been fighting in the streets, gets the tick throw, burst is available for Jack. This could be the last sequence bear, here we go. Oh, no, no burst going to be baited. Oh, there it is, but it was golden, so you got no punish. Man, that gold boost stuff. So. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're going to get clipped, and that is going to be Red Ditto turning it around with the seven golden letters of their own, taking it three to two over Jack, who at the beginning of that set seemed just unstoppable, insurmountable even, and yet with a little perseverance, you too can come out on top. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Dang. Oh. Y'all out here really bringing us these kinds of games at this level. Remember, the person that just went home, shout outs to Jack and congratulations on their placement in the Ascent Finals Top yeah. 8. You're going home there, bud, but much love to you for coming in, participa to participating with us during this event. 63 Smackaroos, go show some love to your local scene. Go show some love to whoever you want. Take your wife, boyfriend, dinner, whatever you want to <laughs> go out to dinner, make it happen take yourself to dinner and treat yourself you know too you know if that's if that's the situation you're in because honestly it's a good you know i i couldn't say no to 60 extra bucks right now so uh congratulations there for making it this far and being a part of this awesome event and uh honestly i can't wait to see if red ditto continues to just scramble through the less unfortunate side of this thing and just you know you know really truly upset some people because honestly that set looked like a foregone conclusion very early on like jack hit the ground running just absolutely sprinting but the problem is is you hit the ground sprinting sometimes you run out of gas and uh, you know tail is old as time right you know the tortoise and the hare we see red ditto taking their time really getting warmed up in that set and now we're moving on to jump dash's own crescendo versus sq i'm really excited about this one we got dog lady versus the squirrel girl i mean how can you complain how can you complain you can't go wrong with it. SQ is known. Oh my goodness. God damn. SQ for Shadow. This is your winner, Sammy's, y'all. Let's keep it rocking. Oh yeah, and that 2K pressure gonna start it off strong for SQ. We are just gonna get a big counter hit. Not gonna force the burst. Mortal Bato unable to stop it there really good burst from crescendo and a great bait put the burst in the bag i didn't realize secret service agents were allowed to commit crimes i was unaware of that either what a 5k for the spacing from crescendo dude my man has been fighting in the streets and keeping the fundamentals from the streets over here to guilt to gear crescendo you're so clean with it dude Honestly, it's 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 uh it's the Giovanna player's time, right? Because Street Fighter Six did come out. She's a Street Fighter character in Guilty Gear. Some some people would say. So, I would uh, agree. You know, oh so my. they get in the they get in the really really shine right now. Speaking of shine, we are just shattering that shiny glass right through the round and into the next one. Duel two. Let's get it. Oh my goodness gracious. Le here we go. Okay. The sword special in the sky, spiking crescendo down. Now stuck in the corner with Ramlethal pressure. SQ, she's got all this. Mortobato gets the positive Oops. bonus. Safe jump to boot. Okay, here we go. Let's get this Ramlethal pressure going. Nice FD so far, but we get clipped. Oh, okay. 2K, 2D. Get it going strong. Nice little classic Abara situation for Giovanna. And we. Oh, I love watching this character cook. Her pressure is just silly but oh okay sq maybe went for a burst bait but the hero is nowhere to be found and crescendo making an absolutely beautiful statement there by not giving into the burst bait holding on to it for round three here and uh might be a bit before sq gets hers back so uh that advantage could be huge for crescendo could be huge. what a block on the jh in the sky from crescendo stopping sq in her tracks and now comes the pressure from crescendo it's a strike to the throw throw to the strike two dog from billions of years away good 6p keep in the corner what a mash 
Oh my goodness. 5P anti-air into the nice full confirm wall break. Not going to get the super here. Just going to keep the meter. Can't fully disagree. Honestly, keep the meter. But uh, in this situation, we get counter hit. No burst coming out once again. YRC, get off of me. Great stuff here. SQ keeping the pressure on. The swords are going. Crescendo tries to dash block their way out of it. That's okay, though. The plus frames from the sword flip. The Oh, God. The fear gauge on oh, It's the oh. first SQ. Wow, Windshield Wiper's gonna clean the screen and put a breadstick on the board for SQ there. What an air-to-air -air situation to end it all there. Well, end it all, air quotes being the first game. That was incredible stuff. Did not feel like a game one, just gonna say it. Like, you know, I, I'm tripping myself up here saying it ended all. That is one of those enders that, uh, or games really, that feels like a final game, final round kind of situation. But that's not the case. Game two coming your way, guys. <laughs> Can't believe two. it on the way you know bear these matches have been flying by left and right these players want to get this match get these brackets done as soon as they can they want to deliver some good ass guilty gear for y'all indeed and uh, i like the patient round start there from sq backing off to see what crescendo is going to do that being said the speed of giovanna getting in there with the far slash and uh, getting that offensive opportunity if you will the pressure sq finding her way out of the corner good stuff you don't want to deal with crescendo in the corner his offense yeah. has been immaculate this whole top bracket so far oh, oh my speaking of offense, being... okay i like it a little american reset but sq is ready to capitalize and instead we're gonna get ram pressure instead of a round ender from crescendo there could be a... oh, nice blocks nice blocks but we have barry with the 2k i like it way out of there the uh, the swords from sq good check on the throw oh my goodness this is huge for sq we got the first back too this is huge for sq to keep this momentum right now but no we whiff the throw on the hard read and that is gonna be uh crescendo taking that round crescendo setting it up great throw continues on the pressure looking for the throw for sq the back dashes from crescendo are have been so clean baiting Ooh. everything but the gold burst it is a frame one for sq sets it up and the super to boot yeah i was a beautiful confirm into the super get the wall break and the positive bonus safe jump pr oh my goodness we safe jump but we had so much meter on sq side that it doesn't matter and now we're gonna see some more ram with all valentine pressure here in the corner but crescendo has that yrc to take it back pressure there it is Tied crescendo up. really really nice patience there from crescendo all around great it's just sense of not pressing on Ramlethal in the corner because that's, you know, obviously exactly what she wants you to do. So really, really good job picking the poison, picking their battles there and uh, just getting out with the W, tying it up one to one. And uh, let's see if we can maybe set up to build up a game five situation because the back and forth that we've seen so far could indicate that there's going to be, you know, adaptations on adaptations all the way through this set. So uh, we're going to see who cracks first here. Is it going to be Ramlethal or is it going to be... Giovanna, let's get it going, guys. Game three. Two bread sticks on the board, and when you got the bread at the table, y'all are family. That's what we are here at the Nine Moons Gaming core Headquarters right here. We're all family as we bring you these great games here at the Ascent Top 8 Winter Semis. These guys are going crazy at it. Crescendo going wild, but SQ, she's got the pressure of a goddess. Oh my goodness, but Crescendo trying to prove that even gods can bleed with this Abare. Mistakes were made though. Ramlethal is just getting her way. Not going to burst today. Windshield Wiper is going to clean the screen, take us right through to the next round. Good stuff. SQ continuing their momentum. She's been so clean with it. Going for these new optimal routes here for Ramlethal. It's been two years. I've been seeing the same stuff left and right, left and right, y'all. And some new seeing this new stuff from Ramlethal is always great to see. Yeah, and uh, speaking of great things to see, guys, those co codes for Maturino are trickling down ever slowly. We got 50 of them left, guys. Started with a big 100, if I'm not mistaken. So, guys, keep it happening. Just like Crescendo's trying to keep this pressure going. And, uh, man, what pressure it is. But SQ looking like an iron vault right now. Not cracking open at all. 
too. We saw we saw the red SC to find the to get their way out of the corner, and then they accidentally put themselves right back in. SQ trying to get their burst back. It's gonna come back at just the right time here in this next in this first round here. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna be really really big for SQ twice now, getting the burst back with the two stocks, because you're gonna lose the round here. But now she doesn't have to focus at all in the in, in the early stages of round three to try to get the burst back. We can just kind of assume we have our get out of jail free and be a little bit more relaxed. That being said, SQ putting on the pressure immediately and forcing the burst off of Crescendo here. Oh no, Crescendo now stuck between a rock and a hard place. Rablethal Valentine. Oh no. Oh, big counter hit. Not going to get the full confirm because the sword wasn't available. Instead, strike throw. Here we go in the corner. SQ looking to try to move up two to one right now, right here. It's the time. Windshield wipers once again trying to clean the screen. They're doing a good job. Seven golden letters. Woos. Great. You know, I, I see the chat there, y'all. There's over 200 of y'all in the chat, and there's 50 five zero codes left it's so easy so simple go link one of your social medias while you're watching these matches open it in another tab put it on your other monitor i know y'all are gamers out there y'all got two monitors some even three maybe four if you're like a super gamer i don't know but it's hey, super hey. easy just go do it really out here bro feeling attacked you're, out here bro i'm, I'm doing bear i'm coming <laughs> after you man i'm hunting you down <laughs> look look i did my code already bro i did it i did it during your, your block and then all right every all right. other time all right Getting all right, back all right. Into it's okay. here. <laughs> game four situation crescendo looking to try to tie it up here if possible but sq in the driver's seat looking really strong here trying to really put the pressure on and possibly take an early and fast round to get to set point sq has been oh my god unrelenting with the uh, the far slash 5h continuing that pressure going gonna get the red rc crescendo not gonna burst keep it alive save it for your potential final round Mm -hmm. That was good. And, and props to SQ reading the situation, just going for the combo. Obviously, it's really hard to burst against Ramlethal, but had a good feeling the Crescendo was probably going to hold it at that point and uh, just finished it out, which you've, honestly, we've been seeing a lot of people just dropping the bag on burst baits lately. So not going to drop the bag with that wall break. And this is going to be a big positive bonus. Crescendo in a very, very bad position here some tough stuff there for crescendo now caught in their last quarter of life and that's gonna be it for crescendo if sq doesn't drop this combo sets yep. up the sword sends crescendo down to the loser side and that is seven golden letters for sq sq looking like 24 carats here and, and just repeatedly back and forth was great but sq really just had the adaptations on lock and just really showing her stuff here i can't wait to see how the rest of this bracket unfolds and again it's just it's so nice to see the culmination of all these players just coming together here for this top eight event and just absolutely putting on a show for us and uh again really appreciate you guys being here it is super awesome to have you we're down to 47 codes you know we're switching things up here so you know i gotta shill i gotta let you know that you can take those codes again you know hand pointed it out the math doesn't quite add up we got 45 codes left as i look at that two codes disappeared two codes disappeared in the time i said that that's crazy amazing how this stuff works and uh it is amazing that you guys are taking some time to spend some of your Sunday evening with us here at Nine Moons The Ascent. This top eight event is popping off and we really are happy to be able to do it here for you guys and to put this show on. And a big shout out to everybody to just making this thing happen because we couldn't do it without you guys. And uh, it just, it's really awesome. Big shout outs to large contributors, small contributors and everybody in between because honestly, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's you guys that are making it happen. No, really, no, Bear. You're absolutely right. People out there in Chatland, people who are who uh, opted to participate in our qualifiers. We had so many qualifiers, and we had up over four pools of players. That is incredible. Mm -hmm. Some of the best names in the business. Like, it's crazy, dude. Like, you got the likes of Peppery Splash, Danny, Umi Show, SQ. It's all there. Crescendo, Bean, Temp Tempest, NYC, mm -hmm. a yeah. two-time Copper Baker champion. Yeah, it is absolutely crazy. And just looking at the list of all the players that we've made it into our top 16. And we even had some interesting little, uh, you know, last second switcheroos just because, you know, life comes at you fast kind of, you know, all the time. And uh, speaking of coming at you fast, this next match headed your way right now. We got Umi Show versus DM Danny. 
this is going to be good. We see Umi show on the Happy Chaos. That loading screen does not lie. So unless there's some weird mod situation, we're not going to see the uh, Umi Sol here, at least not initially. Umi show probably feeling out the matchup because Danny honestly just cooks. So uh, we'll see. Dude, cooking for real. Danny Scum Dipper making it happen. All that pressure now. Umi show has been playing this soul bad guy so much. Let's see if she's able to adapt quickly on the happy chaos. I mean, you know, she is the gunslinger goddess, one of the best happy chaos. I imagine for her, it's like riding a bike. Maybe, maybe a half a game, she's right back in there, right back on oh. that horse. First coming out, gonna stop the Deus Ex, but we're still gonna shoot the Sacred Edge there. Excuse me, the Stun Edge, rather. The Stun Edge, right? And the, the Curse the curse Ball still hitting Danny. It's the throw, gets a safe jump with the gun. You got hit, Danny. Mm -hmm. Gonna continue. It's gonna be Ubi Show taking round one. Yeah, didn't even need the super, just decided to 6S our problems away. Throw the Haymaker, let the wall break, and uh, move into the next round. Really, really good stuff. And uh, ooh, nice backdash from Danny and Umi Show with the with the lot. They're gonna have to let the focus regen, and Danny gonna take that opportunity to get in, maybe get some pressure going. Six P. Danny making it out, catching the backdash, the esports button, the six H. You see it from Danny. I call it the esports button because you get so much confirm off of it. Umi Show with oh. the burst, the anime combo from Danny. Yeah, that was really, really nice. The beginning was burst safe. Umi Show not biting, finding that really nice safe spot to burst, taking the turn back, and now Danny back to the wall against Happy Chaos. Not where you want to be. Oh, send up the reload. Umi Show with the wall slump. She's looking to secure. Oh, oh. no. Danny, a believer in the dragon punch. Yeah, and a nice burst there. It's really, you know. Going back to the last time, we talked about how hard Ramlethal is to burst against. Happy Chaos also very much in that category. And uh, even with the nice burst, it's not going to be enough to shut down the Gunslinger Goddess. Umi Show showing that she is still dominant on the character, despite, you know, the swap after Arc Revo back to the Solace Bad Gaius, if you know what I'm saying. It's, right. uh, it's, it's kind of nice to be able to, to see that, you know, Umi Show is truly, you know, just a testament of skill and not just like a one trick pony got great with one character and then you know that's all she wrote right now she is truly you know taking the time to really fundamentally get good at guilty gear strive and uh, it shows here uh being able to just swap back onto her original or her, her second character because if if my lore is correct she started as a soul bad guy player happy chaos came in blew the doors off of everybody's minds and then uh after arc revo she went back to soul so uh, if i'm not mistaken somebody out there lore masters in the chat let me know either way umi show with the robbery put the burst in the bag we're going through the wall Oh, golly gracious goodness, the bag and the burst is available. And it seems as though even with the burst bait, Danny still has just a normal amount of burst available. Oh, dang, Samson that you see with the updates. May player. Okay, see, I've heard Salt Bad Guy. Maybe we got to get to the uh, get to the bottom of this. We got to do some investigatory uh, work here. Either way, Danny going to try to investigate a way to get in on this happy chaos. Focus super. YRC get off me. Here we are. We get the offensive pressure. Strike throw. Here we go. Make it happen. Danny spending the bar looking for the burst, but you're going to clear it up. Danny securing the first round in game number two. All right, there we go. I like it. I love it. Focus up. And then we're going to try to get that falling JS, the happy chaos classic. Such a great, uh, such a great tool. Make it happen, y'all. This is so sick. I see, you know, match matchup talk in the chat, y'all, but it doesn't matter. If you're good with your character, you're gonna be able to smoke him. And that's Danny right here. Gibbon gapping, gapping, you know, tournaments left and right on Kai. People say this character is wild and wacky. Trying to bait the first, but it's all Umi show right now. Yeah, and one thing about the Saul matchup too is that like, you know, Danny has a very prolific Saul player to practice against, if I'm not mistaken, in Mike Safdie. So uh, it's really no surprise that Umi Show might feel more comfortable in her happy chaos in this matchup just because, you know, if Danny and Safdig are just throwing hands all the time, that Saul matchup might be Saul favored until Danny, who studies the matchup all the time, really uh, puts on the pain. Speaking of putting on the pain, that's one to one. And uh, we are cooking right through this match here. And Umi Show and Danny both really going to have to dig deep to pull out the W. Bread and again, sticks yeah. on the board.
the pain of having 44 codes left, guys. It just, it hurts my soul because these players are not getting, you know, that $2,500 is nice, but getting everything claimed, you know, getting it really nicely ascended there really does help out. It doesn't seem like much, but hey, it, uh, it really, really, really does add up over time. And you're right, you know, as we're ascending through these brackets, finding our way, we're in winter semis, we're gonna see some loser side coming up here really soon. Umi show on the happy chaos, dear God. Support him. Where, where did Kai's health go? I thought he had the royal health plan and uh, happy chaos just said no health care for you. So that royal health care is uh, sadly you got declined at the office. Uh, Umi show looking to close out this round with ease. Exactly. Law out there spitting facts, though. It isn't. Well, match Reno codes are nice, but it's not about the money. It's about that community support and uh, how much y'all show up and step up for everybody. Why? RC gets blocked. Oh, my goodness. Umi Show stepping up the pressure there, really keeping it a buck and just shutting down anything Danny wanted to do. Umi Show is so good. And I hope y'all in the chat realize just how good she really is at this game, whether she's playing Soul Bad Guy or Happy Chaos, baiting the YRC about four steps ahead of Danny. Deus Ex Machina, we're going to clear the board, clear, reset your bullets, reset everything. What a clean combo for Movie Show. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, okay, nice block from Danny. And I like the patience from Movie Show to just sit there, let Danny whip something, keep that corner pressure, just, you know, create a wall of happy chaos, if you will. And, uh, oh my goodness, speaking of walls and happy chaos, we're going through the wall, positive bonus situation. Umi Show has 50 meter in the bank, instant overhead blocked by Danny. Really good stuff, and uh, wow, Danny holding on with a thread of life here. Strike throw, here we go. Good dash cancel there for Danny, but letting up so much of that real estate. Umi Show caught between a rock and a hard place now, tries to jump out of it. She's so sick with it. The triple overhead from Danny, but wow. she's able to abare her way out of there. Umi Show with the combo meal over Danny. That was amazingly done. Umi Show showcasing just spectacular strength on defense. And then, you know, we engage in a little 5P, 5P from time to time to just keep you honest, you know, honest little abare. You know, some call it mashing, but, you know, I call it a barre when it works. It's mashing when you get hit, you know. Right, right. Wrong, but, you know, you know like if I if I'm trying to pressure bear and uh, he he's and he abares me, nah, he's mashing. He's nah. mashing. He's, he's mashing, mashing exactly. Bro. He's mashing, mashing bro. out here. He's mashing on me. That wasn't a barre. That was a frame <laughs> trap. I swear. <laughs> I swear to you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I swear, Umi show too clean with the six P counter hit right through the wall, and we are in a positive bonus situation. Seven seconds into this match. Dude, it happens just like that. Just like just like Danny's health bar, you talk about Macharino codes, they delete like nothing. Umi Show has a great life lead right now. Absolutely, but it can disappear in an instant. That is a close slash. You're gonna have to burst out of there. Don't disagree. Continuing that pressure here. Danny with some beautiful fireballs. Six H sets up the combo. Ride okay. the lightning. We are riding it all the way through the wall into the next round. And oh my goodness. I thought that, you know, I know that super does less damage because it gets all that wall carry. But man, when it kills, it's just like, man, I thought that super did no damage. <laughs> you get hit. Wait, that that super did damage? Hold the phone. Hold on, Umi Show now with the corner pressure. Good bait, but he presses a button, not like this. Oh my goodness, okay. We don't care about the snot bubble when we have sword normals. Danny pulling up, putting the pressure on Umi Show here. Dude, you know, it doesn't matter. Either either way, we get to see one of these players again in this bracket here. We're going to see them down on the loser side. Umi Show with a great confirm here. We're going to go to the wall, see it happen. And uh, we talked. I've talked about this before with Umi Show's bracket runs. Like I really, genuinely don't know where I stand. What is more terrifying, winner side grand finals Umi Show or loser side grand finals Umi Show? Like I'm not talking like it's a foregone conclusion, but just in general, I really don't know which is scarier because Umi Show does things from the less unfortunate bracket that just astound me. Unfortunately, even gods get their bursts baited, and Danny takes full advantage and ties it up, bringing us to a game five situation. Dude, wow. These, Danny, just like that. You see it here happen day in and day out. Danny, the Kai Kisk god. A god slayer, if you will, and a god amongst a god amongst the goddesses. Mm, to be able to come was... out and strike with the king himself. Yeah, doing really, really good stuff. Doing God's work, if you will. And uh 
I really, I'm excited we get to see a game five because it really just shows the level of skill on display that each of these players is bringing to the table because they, you know, it's not just, okay, cool, I pick Happy Chaos, I win. We just see that with, you know, character mastery and in general, Kai does give Happy Chaos a little more trouble than some of the other members of the cast. But in, in, in Danny, you just see what uh, perseverance and just downright determination can get you. And uh, we see it bracket after bracket. Right, and we see it, the good fundamentals from Danny. You see how they're trying to bait down the throw here that is coming out from Umi's show. They know, they know their tendencies right now. Missing the curse ball. Oh, no, it does hit. My, my fault. Scum Dipper. Oh, my guaranteed curse, and now it's a little more difficult. One thing Danny has done a really good job of is just disrespecting the curse in a way that a lot of other players don't. Because a lot of times when people get that curse ball, they just let Happy Chaos you know, run rampant, which he's very strong in that situation. Danny just plays like curse doesn't matter. Unfortunately, we get shot like we're seeing here from time to time. But more often than not, that Danny play style does prevail. So we're going to see if we can uh, bring it to bear here and get that game five locked up. So far, Umi show is just going skeet shooting with the king. Oof. Oh, oh my days. Oh, no, but it could be just like that. Danny's going to be able to steal the route. Does have meter to burn. Ride the lightning. Oh, my goodness. Like I said, that Danny's just the way Danny gets it done. The, just comes in clutch, gets that round, and uh, now puts Umi Show in a very, very strong pressure situation. Burst not coming out yet. Wall Splat not going to let the burst come out, and now it is a very dangerous situation for Umi Show to be in. Dude, Umi Show, I've seen her fight back from, wor from worse than this. The guy mm. gets it there. Oh, no. It begins. There's no focus. We're going to have to do this without gunshots, but it's all right. We're going to guarantee the curse, get a reload, and we're right back in there. Danny now having to make sure that this game doesn't get lost to Happy Chaos Sauce. Burst forcing the offensive pressure here, and Umi Show really just putting oh, it in Danny's court. Oh. <gasps> okay. Clone. Oh, my God. We scummed up the stop side. We get our toes tapped by the 2S, but we're right back in there. Umi Show with a pixel of life. Oh, oh, she paints the throw! Bear, oh, oh my god, Umi Show! Oh my goodness, she holds on to the pixel, and I swear for a second there, the shimmies were Street Fighter esque. Oh my goodness. And we're in there. Who've been playing streets? Umi Show for real, for real right now. Half life gone from Danny, and we see this happen before. Danny paints oh, the first in the bag! Canadian! Oh, oh no! Oh no, absolute. <laughs> Devastation, chaos on the screen, Deus Ex Machina, and that is Umi Show taking it three to two. Holy cow, like, I'm so happy we get these game five situations. That was Damn. absolutely insane. Absolute Damn. insanity. And again, we, we're gonna see Umi Show stay on the winner's side. And uh, Danny is, you know, I said Umi Show scary from the less unfortunate side, but so is Danny. Like, Something about these top players, when they just get their back against the wall with that no life left situation, you're on your last chance. They just pull out some stuff that will truly surprise. So I'm I'm, I'm hoping to see some spectacular sparks fly from uh, the rest of Danny's performance. We're definitely going to see some more Umi show this evening. And uh, oh my goodness, guys, got to tell you. 33 codes left, 3-3, three, three. 33 of them left, and uh, you guys can make it happen for these players. Help contribute to the Nine Moons gaming community and help that Ascent pot rise. It's at $2,524 and some change right now, and it's all because of you guys, various contributions from the community and those Matcherino codes. So uh, big shout outs, guys. We really appreciate it. And uh, we really appreciate this next set we got coming up, Crescendo versus Red Ditto. This is where it's going to be, y'all. We are now in the loser's side of the bracket to make things happen. People sitting clean over there the winners in the winner's finals, making it happen. Shendo Red Ditto, the loser of this set, going to get 126 smacks. That's a lot. That's a lot of dough. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty good. That's definitely, uh, you know, most of a AAA game these days. <laughs> and, it's most uh, of it. Yeah, you're right. Alvaro. Oh, my God. <laughs> Blink and you miss it. Seven gold letters for Red Ditto. Crescendo not getting to play that round and uh, looking to set up a second one here. Red Ditto pushing to the wall. No burst available. Windshield wipers trying to clean the screen, but Giovanna is persistent. 
cleans the screen, but ends up breaking the glass in the long run. Great throw here for Crescendo. Brings Red Ditto towards the wall, and this is where you see Crescendo really excel. But just like that, Red Ditto out in the blink of an eye. Mm -hmm. But right back in off a counter hit, and a nice, nice little pressure sequence started from Crescendo here. PRC get off me, taking the turn back. Red Ditto does not want any of that secret agent sauce there. Great stuff. Moving through. Okay, uses the spiral arrow to find their way in. Tries to look for the burst here with the RC. Red Ditto oh. not going to spend it. Kelvin! Oh my god, Mortal Bato! Mortal Bato, it's the Ramlethal special. Did you knock me down? Yes. yes. Do I have 50 meter? Yes. yes. Mortal Bato. Mortal Bato, That's every it. time. <laughs> Morto Bonto, it's not even a question. It's not even a thought. It's just it's just nerve action, neural activity. Just just straight do not do anything but give me my dopamine hit of Morto Bonto wake up. And uh really, really good use of it there by Red Ditto, showcasing its strength. And uh hopefully Crescendo can bring it back here and really uh turn it around and not let Ramlethal just kind of do what she wants. It is not Ramlethal's day out and Crescendo trying to shut it down. Beautiful stuff, Red Ditto now starting off with the offense. Big counter hit off the two H, making it happen. Crescendo, it is burst safe here, Bear JH to make it happen. Indeed, and yeah, Windshield Wiper's not quite going to reach up that tall, but 6P going to stop the big swinging sword and get it going for Crescendo here. Once again, guys, the stakes on the line for even this loser's quarterfinals right now. $126 going to the loser. So uh, they're trying to get that, you know, bigger slice of the pie. So definitely a lot of pressure on here. And uh, Red Ditto making the most of it there with that nice neutral jump. Great stuff here. Good burst from Crescendo. A little bit of a hero burst, I won't lie. And just like that, you lose the round. No burst for next one. Yeah, and uh, that's going to be huge. You definitely do not want to be down the round against Ramblethal without a burst. And uh, Crescendo is about to find out why here because this sword pressure is prolific. But we get a beautiful jump out and right into our own corner pressure is Crescendo. And, uh, oh, Abare, 2K, get our way out into the corner and into some more pressure for Ramblethal. Great pressure. Now, Red Ditto, positive bonus, no safe jump, but the... Far slash 5H has the reach of the gods. Indeed, and okay, a little cartwheel action. Morto Bato, did I get knocked down? Yes. yes, you did. Do I have 50 meter? Yes. yes. Morto Bato. Every time. <laughs> Every single time, baby. Every time, baby. Every oh, time. Man. God damn, Red Ditto. You know, two for two, two for two. You make oh, it, you man. see it happen. Are you in the, are you, now you got to think, is Red Ditto in Crescendo's head at this point? Maybe. With all of these, all of these wake up supers? Yeah, because like, you know, it might be meaty, but meaty doesn't mean it's safe. So you're, you're, you've got to, you've got to weigh your decisions and maybe, and that pressure I talked about could be getting to Crescendo. We could be seeing some unfortunate lack of being able to break off of those scripts. Like, okay, let me go for my meaty close slash didn't take a second to glance at that meter and uh, we're seeing the, the price being paid that being said this is a great start so far for crescendo here prc after the cartwheel dp into a little strike throw here we go love to see it great crescendo now on their own offense red ditto has a very big mountain of a life lead to climb but does have 50 meter you got to be careful the close slash stagger pressure from red ditto keeping crescendo on his toes yeah, and uh, finally cracks open, forcing the burst off of Crescendo here. And uh, there we go, the nice Giovanna footsies. And beautiful patience from Red Ditto, um, not going for any kind of burst shenanigans. Crescendo also did a really good job just going for the kill, trying to get it done. Really, really well done. Well, good stuff, 2K2D. Crescendo trying to set up their offense, but going to get bursted out. Red Ditto doesn't want anything to do with it. Yep, nice backdash, getting the pressure going for Ram with all Red Ditto. He smells blood in the water here, trying to get the cr corner pressure going. Strike throw, here we go. Look at that, and with just like that, the throw sets up the pressure. Tick throw for Red Ditto. Goes uh -oh. for the wake-up super on Crescendo's side, uh -oh. but Red Ditto is blocking it. And we're going to see the full two-hit punish. Guarantees Red Ditto looking to close out this set. Yeah, are we going to see a 3-0 or just Crescendo hold on here? It is uh, oh, not going to happen for Crescendo if interactions like that keep going in the way of Red Ditto there. 
Ram with all corner pressure gets clipped by the sword. Burst is available, but where are you gonna do it? Nowhere is safe. Oh. Good stuff. Oh. Big counter hit. We're gonna get out of here. All right. Spiral arrow through neutral. We do not want to engage in that. We just want strike throw corner pressure and corner pressure we have. YRC, get off me. Get your back against the wall. And it is still set point. I believe I see a block animation. Oh but my the God. BRC was there. Really, really nice stuff from Crescendo using using the meter excellently. But the back throw incident seals the deal. 3 0 for Red Ditto over Crescendo there. And, uh, you know, hey. You didn't get to advance in the bracket, but hey, I could not say no to 126 extra bones right now. You know, times are tough. Inflation is killing us in these streets. So, you know, beautiful back throw incident. You're still going to get a little bit of payout and uh, Red Ditto holding on, keeping it strong. And, you know, I'm going to be honest, Tam, like that match was exciting. But this next match is even more exciting for me because I told the main the main homie Nine Moon Smitty that for the one time, just because Discord's doing this, you know, new username thing. Right. Smitty actually locked up. Smitty actually locked up. Smitty Verbin Jaegerman Jensen. No and damn it, shot. And damn it. Locked it up. And I said for the one time, I got to call it out. Smitty Verbin Jaegerman Jensen versus Danny. And you know what? I'm sorry, other casters out there, but like none of y'all say it right. Just saying. Smitty Werber Jaegerman Jensen. Easy. Done. There you go. Hamlet like is on it. Verbin Jaegerman Jensen. And it is Smitty coming your way right here against DMs Danny. Gonna be crazy, guys. Gonna be crazy. You know, you we see it. The happy chaos is <laughs> to bring it all home. Then you have Danny, the king, the man, the myth, the legend, the the Kai mm -hmm. of Mexico. And has been so slick with it in every bracket <laughs> that they play. I, you know, I'm a Danny enjoyer, but I'm mm. also a Smitty Warbury Argument Jensen enjoyer as well. Yeah, dude, Smitty is too powerful. And I'm really like, no, seriously, like, I know the deep lore on Smitty. Like, I've been there since the beginning, like, back in the day. Like, I used to beat up on Smitty in Dragon Ball. And then Smitty was like, no more. No more, I'm hitting the lab. And then the path to God status began. And then and then, and then Guilty Gear Strive, same situations. Just came in, you know, just vibing and striving. Happy Chaos came along and, and Smitty was like, okay, it's time. It's my time. And uh, <clears throat> seriously, it is like Smitty has been cooking and really putting on just absolute, just really great performances almost in every single bracket that... Uh, you know they show up in and i'm really happy that nine moons was able to scoop up smitty because it was definitely a grind for smitty to actually get picked up by this great organization and uh still no bias on the commentary booth i know smitty's a nine moons part of the family but you know what i just want to see some good guilty gear here and uh and <laughs> yeah lost smitty smitty is just cracked you know smitty is in fact cracked it is crazy and uh, I can't wait to see more of that happy chaos on screen. And and really, the, the deep lore, too, there is like, you know, maybe after Evo, because right now Smitty is playing happy chaos for Evo. Who knows? Smitty's kind of a enigma. So Smitty was on the Giovanna for a little bit there. Um, just like, OK, happy chaos is great. I love my funny gunman. But, you know, I also really like this wolf lady. And then it was like, OK, wait, I got to be serious for Evo back on the funny gunman but then nice gay in his infinite wisdom was like asuka and then smitty and like you know we've got happy chaos smitty's like oh my god i get to break my fingers with this character and then they give us asuka so i'm really excited to see if smitty you know goes in the goes in the way of asuka after the evo run because you know i know smitty wants that chipotle the chipotle burrito smitty wants to lock up that dub at a minimum maybe get to that top eight i think smitty can do it and uh really just honestly a lot of the nine moons players like rat rat cracked absolutely cracked and then not to mention we just picked up remy celeste like nine moons is just absolutely stacked and honestly i'm really excited to see how everybody does out at evo even even your boy bear gonna try his best to represent nine moons i represented at frosty faustings went three and two not too bad for you know a humble you a humble bear. Home. 
I did. It was beautiful. He earned that one. He can hold it. <laughs> he You're can right. Hold all right. All fine. of these TK Yosansons. <laughs> damn. Damn. Yeah. You know, he held it all the way home, but goddamn. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm uh, really going to be uh, just going to be excited for Evo, and I'm really excited for this next set. And yeah, I, I outperformed every single other one handed entrant there that I know about. Maybe. I don't know. That's true. <laughs> Dude, uh, it has been a long life moving up in, in into this moment, not just with the Ascent, but just with the year alone. We're six months in. Mm -hmm. So much Guilty Gear has been played, and so many other games have been coming out, showing us what people have been brought to the table. And so many people have been brought into Nine Moons, myself being just added to the roster a couple weeks ago. Big much love to everybody at Nine Moons for picking me up. And shout outs for picking up Smitty. Like, y'all are crazy. Dude, I've been seeing Smitty mm -hmm. grind left and right i'd love to check rating update even though it is as toxic as the website is i just love to see where he's finding where he's putting themselves and finding his destination on the leaderboard because i know a lot of people are ladder grinders i know i'm one of them i've oh, been yeah. a part of that i grind i grind a tech and ladder for five years and i don't want to do it ever again i will never <laughs> do it tech and eight comes back i'm reeled back in you can, you can kiss my ass see you later i'm going over there but it's I'm never it is, doing it again tech and eight releases oh <laughs> oh my bad i gotta go back my fault my fault it's like you're there and all these all these players grinding i mean we had an insane set to come and main, main set to boot smitty over danny danny finally appears here, here he is go. he's live. came out king. of the ether you know. the, king, the king arrives out of nowhere mm -hmm. is just god dang it this is going to be a good one. Nine Moon, Smitty, Bourbon, Jaegerman, Jensen. For the last time, Smitty from now on. But uh, versus DM Danny getting counter hit early on here. And uh, Fudra are going to put the corner pressure on. Strike throw. Here we go. Danny with that easy pressure. Smitty is one of those happy chaoses that really likes to zone. Keep his, keep his opponents down at bay. And just like that, Danny has been had such great coverage with great spacing. This man has been playing streets. Indeed, and oh, the Goomba Stomp on the Fudra arc. That is absolutely devastating. Smitty going to get that zoning started. And yeah, just like you're saying, Smitty, one of the rare Happy Chaos players that's going to eat this ride the lightning here, but uh, trying to get the zoning going. And uh, look at the tumble. Wow. That is... That is character mastery right there, ladies and gentlemen. Like, knew that that, knew the spacing on that, knew the tumble was there, and uh, good burst there, safely done, but Smitty right back in there with the wall splat into the Deus Ex. Moving it through Deus Ex, you're right, we're gonna break the wall, we're gonna get that extra positive bonus all the way through here. Make it happen, Smitty with some great offense. Danny, you're either a believer or you're not. You're gonna DP your way, your problems are out of the sky, but you're gonna get tab dusted for your troubles. Yep. Smitty securing the round. Yeah, Smitty looking really clean there. Bring it back to that, just able to zone, but also able to just get in your face and really get that new school happy chaos pressure engaged. So it's the one of the unique things about Smitty's playstyle, I think, is that leaning on zoning to really mental stack you, but then all of a sudden combat roll. There's that 50-50. It's just so much stronger because, you know, other happy chaoses pull up so much faster than Smitty, and uh, we're uh, seeing it here. Danny pulling up on Smitty, though, this time, trying to get the king pressure started. Well, I like, I like it that Smitty really likes to take his time with how he plays happy chaos, and occasionally you get hit for your troubles, so just like that 2H securing it, going for a little bit of a reset, Danny. All the way up to the back throw incident. Back throw incident begins it with Smitty, and Smitty put the stop sign up, but didn't get the air throw. Manages to get out of the corner, gets tapped by the far slash, though. 6P, get off me. Oh. First in the bag, this is a robbery. Even kings commit crimes. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. The king yeah. securing the kill over smitty what a round for danny dude sometimes the king the king will commit crimes left and right every time yeah it is crazy it is, it is weird how you know they say you know absolute power corrupts absolutely so it makes sense that you know kai given all that power decided to just go into a life of crime stealing happy chaos's burst Smitty's dreams of winning that game. It's just crazy. It's not illegal when the King of Illyria does it. Yeah, that's fair. 
uh, you know, there, there is also that, you know, we don't necessarily know if this is illegal in Illyria's law structure. So uh, good looking out TC 9000 and good looking out strike throw. Here we go. Danny combat roll stuffed by the close flash forcing the burst out and Smitty going to get the corner pressure going here. All the way through Smitty looking to try and beta throw with that shimmy there. Good 6P to stop the jump in from Danny over the sacred edge team. Oh my God. Wow. Resources spent for everything. It all took that entire check to the bank. Danny's going to close it out, close out everything. 6P. To <gasps> wow. Smitty, calm, cool, collected, reloading just outside burst range. We call that footsies. You know? that, that's definitely footsies. Oh my God. Tap dust. Danny. Oh, speaking of dust, 2D starting off, flipping the toes of the king, wall splat for Smitty, guaranteed curse, and we are cooking. Scum Dipper sets it up, Danny, with some great IVs from Smitty. Good stuff he's able, with those IVs, you are able to get the punishes that Kai's are not being punished for enough. Coast of Coast here, Bear. And no wall splat, Smitty doing a great job working with that weak wall, using it right there to guarantee the kill. That was really, really great awareness from Smitty. And we have the rounds tied up and a great air to air stuffing that Danny diagonal stun edge. The Danny special, if you will. The Danny special as he makes his way in Scum Dipper yet again. All that pressure now. Danny has the esports button. Direct Clat put it in the bag. Oh my God, the risk here, Bear. Oh, oh that's gonna hurt. Happy Chaos is in a world of hurt, and Smitty staring down the barrel of 2-0 right now. But the defense is there. We get out. We get poked. Okay. Stun Edge not going to connect. Smitty gets clipped. The chip is a factor. FD does have a lot of meter to work with. No burst, but Danny with a 2S to save your troubles from downtown. That is absolutely unfortunate for Smitty. That being said, once again, guys loser of this set still gets that 126 big ones you know so it's not like they're you know it's not like smitty goes home empty-handed if smitty loses here <clears throat> but that being said i've seen reverse 3-0s happen guilty gear strive is a very volatile game it is very hard to say anything is a foregone conclusion and uh we're gonna get into game three right now smitty could have just been taken in that data and then suddenly downloading danny's entire game plan who knows gonna have to find out right now guys who knows it's gonna all come down to smitty and danny smitty has to work on that 3-0 you have to climb the biggest guilt of your mountain to make your way uh, forward in this loser side of the bracket the less unfortunate six h it loops into itself yeah Kai Time players games. want one thing and it's disgusting esports e button that's what i call that that's the <laughs> e esports button Look at how and good that is, dude. Oh, is, no. There it is. And that's the round. Smitty in a very dire situation here. Has to do anything and make their way through. Danny has so much momentum right now. Yeah, I like the pressure here. Smitty just trying to get the gun pulled out. But once again, Kai players want one thing, and it's all this disgusting damage. Dire clot breaking the wall, leaving Danny with that BRC to punish the whip throw. Oh no, this could be it. There's Smitty the with the burst. His, yes, the burst is on his last ascent life right here. This is where he's either gonna fall from the heavens or continue his ascent all the way up to the top of the mountain. It's oh my goodness. Smitty. He's gotta be ready. DP oh, is available, but it's all Danny, ladies and gentlemen. No. It continues and nine moons Smitty. That that button gets away with so much, dude. Why, why, why is nobody talking about how belligerent Kai JS is, bro? Like nobody said, it's just sleeping. Everybody's sleeping on that button, but it like, it is also one of those buttons that just does Kai's taxes, you know, you know, takes Dizzy out to lunch, you know, trains, trains up Sin a little bit, all while Kai just gets to do nothing. That button sick. is too damn good. Too and, damn uh, good damn speaking of damn good it has been a damn good time commentating with you hamalak that being said it is once again time for us to do another quick little switcheroo here we're gonna get it swapped up and switched up we're gonna bring on jay sue back onto the mic and uh so say say your peace my bro and we will move on
Move we'll along. On Jesu is on his way back to the mic. I hope y'all are ready for some more Jesu action. This guy is the goat for real, for real. Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to be back here to watch the end of this set. I'll be out here for the outro, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. You got the J Bear coming at you. Bam. He's back. There he is. Faded into existence. Dude, those earrings today. Just absolutely killing it. I did Eerie. not realize I was muted. I had a whole <laughs> intro going on. You just see me. Wah, 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 wah. What is good, everyone? Back on the mic. Like Ham was saying, we got the J Bear commentary block to close out the Ascent Finals, day number two. So super excited to uh, to be back with my homie Papa Bear. Was good. Oh, it is. It is this guilty year is good. That is what's good. And uh, man, I'm so glad that all three of us get to you know share the space today, get it going. And if I do say so myself, dude. We're, we're dripped out today. We're looking good. We're keeping it fresh, okay. just like these players. SQ versus Umi Show, keeping it fresh, keeping these games rolling, and let's get into it. Yeah, let's see it. The Ramlethal versus the Soul Bad Guy. Looking clean. The Flame of Corruption, you know, coming up strong here. But SQ looking to send Umi Show down to losers. But can you mm -hmm. stop the Soul Bad Guy? I'm not too sure. Yeah, and, you know, it's kind of crazy. Umi Show back on the Soul Bad Guy for the uh, Ramlethal matchup. I really agree, honestly. Saul, I feel like he has some tools to deal with uh, Ramlethal that uh, Happy Chaos may not be able to get away with. That being said, everybody gets 6 p the same. DP, get off of me. Set your heart ablaze. Gunflame just gradually bringing you over to the corner, but counter hit 2S into a little sword toss here. Eskew with that stand still, just trying to wait for a whiff from Umi Show, but she is making her way back on over to the corner. 50% meter available on both sides. Oh, and then we're going to spend it here. No burst coming out from Umi Show yet, but it is always so difficult to find it. Find a spot against Ramlethal. Opt in to hold on to it all the way there. BRC forward in some nice salt pressure. Back throw incident though. SQ not respecting anything. Saul bad guy brings to the table here. Mm -hmm. The throw enough to kill. Burst still available on both sides. The uh, 6P unfortunately gonna whiff, but SQ in a weird position in the air to be able to punish. But burst to keep the corner. We've been seeing a lot of that from Umisho, right? You get that first opening, you keep the positioning and try and build up enough bar to open her up, but unfortunately gonna make your way back out. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know what else is unfortunate? That we are still sitting at 30 codes there on the Naturino while Umi Show takes this whole bombo. What a nice use of the flip. I really like it. Man, SQ really out here just doing things on this character. Everybody just calls, you know, vanilla, white bread, you know, uninspired, what have you. SQ proving them wrong here. RC, no burst available. We're still just keeping a burst safe. What a confirm. Oh my lord. Oh my god, and great use of the flip kick. Again, earlier, you know, empty flip kick in the close slash to try and get a little bit of extra meter. And here, to get the corner situation without breaking the wall, Umi Show <laughs> just waiting out here said, all right, you gotta approach me. I know you wanna swing the far slash. I'm looking for that 6B as soon as I see a hitbox. 2S, no, the JP jumping up in the skies here to take game number one of winner's finals. Yeah, SQ really locking it down, playing patiently and doing a great job shutting down every avenue of approach that umi show wanted to access there and uh man speaking of access once again maturino exclamation mark maturino in chat wow how codes, easy it is guys. to access that claim coupon button you hit that link over there in the chat you log in you hit claim coupon guys it's like three clicks for 25 cents i see one of yeah. you claiming your code i don't know who you are but you know who you are so thank you for yeah. adding to the pot and you guys can be just like that as we head into game number two sq versus umi show Ooh, Umi Show starting off with the 6S, and then, oh my goodness, I swear Umi Show playing Saul, but I saw a full run up throw, a full screen run up throw. That's the Kai Keesk special. Damn. That's what I'm saying. You gotta, you gotta, gotta take some notes from the king, the king of grapplers. Make this way over here, but Gunflame gonna catch you right out on the way down, catching that falling button. Eskew trying to stay patient, but that risk is gradually getting built up by Umi Show here. Oh, 6P, get off me. I don't have a meatless reversal, but I'm invincible from the knees up, so hold that. Oh, but Far Slash trying to hold on to that spacing, but SQ just trying to dial back with the faultless defense. Umi Show knocking at your door, but Far Slash, again, going to be able to get us out of the corner here. Not quite the side swap route, but SQ's not too sad about that. 50% meter, so any next hit should be able to kill Umi Show. Exactly. And who needs a side swap when you can just go coast to coast? Oh my goodness, BR1 right into a throw gets Umi Show into a very nice position. But SQ with the shimmies taking the round by beautifully spacing that out. Umi Show got caught slipping. 
That's you looking strong. You're waiting for that burst to come back up. Yep, delay on the Rekka, but just go for a dash cancel, actually. Because once again, you know, in this uh, in this current version of the game, third Rekka does not actually give you that hard knockdown. So I like the choice for the screen positioning. But Umisho has just been doing such a good job representing multiple options to make her way back out of the corner. Ooh, a nice little 5k of Barre from SQ to get out. And DP, get off me, Umisho. Smelled the drop and did not want to have any of that American reset in her life. 6S gonna whiff there. Bandit Bringer not going to get too much there. Okay, nice. A little bit of a jab action brings you back over to the corner. 50% meter available on both sides, but SQ, not a lot of help. Just pull up with a sword to keep your get the pressure started. That fast RC, but windshield wiper is not enough to kill. Yeah, not gonna be enough. Saw bad guy. A little protagonist privilege with a nice life lead or life just life bar in general. With the throw back to neutral here. Yep, so even on the life totals, SQ just waiting for that 50% meter to come back up. BRC on the way down. Umi show using the burst set. All right, I don't care if you bait it. I just want to make sure I live another mm. round, but the air throw scoops you out of the sky and gets another game on the board wow. for SQ. Dang, Ooh. SQ looking clean in the neutral, looking clean with the movement and all around just, just shiny. Honestly, that was really, really well done. And SQ is absolutely on a rampage right now. She's very firmly planted in the driver's seat and uh umi show definitely gonna need to hang on here exert player <laughs> detected they're saying in the chat yeah you know the air throw shenanigans are pretty good you know when you see that propensity for the air throws you can definitely tell oh you've played a little bit of that revelator too i see it i see it. <laughs> maybe just yep. waiting a little bit until the next one just shaking out the hands you know umi show saying all right let me Regain myself. Just take a couple mm -hmm. deep breaths before I go into game number three. It's going to be an uphill battle down two games, but we have seen Umisho come back from worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, and we're seeing Umisho stick with the Saul bad guy. I don't. I definitely agree. I, I, you know, people might be like, "Oh, why didn't she switch to the Happy Chaos?" And Chaos is good, but Ramlethal is in that same category with Kai, right? She's one of those characters that can absolutely stuff a lot of the things that. Happy Chaos wants to do. So Saul Bad Guy kind of closes a lot of those gaps. And, you know, he's the protagonist. He's got that protag privilege, as we're seeing here with the dust loop into the wall break. Yep, Umi Show coming out strong, just straight out of the gate. She's trying to make her way back in, but has the positive bonus available here. You know, you're just waiting for that meter to come back up. And now we got 100 in the bank. Mm -hmm, and that is huge. Oh. Fafnir, wall splat. Don't even need the last 50. Seven golden letters. Like, that is just... You know, Umi show, smart economics, keeping that money Spreading in the bank. Mm -hmm. Started off with the perfect. This could be the start of the reverse sweep, but still, you got a lot of rounds to go before SQ is going to let you run away with the set here. Still burst available on both sides, but throw gets you that 50%. Mm -hmm. Oh, Piercy, oh, back was... air throw you back into the corner. I love it. Where are you going? No, I'm going out of the corner. You're not going to stop me. Volcanic Viper says it's my turn in the neutral, but no, SQ pushing Umi Show right back into this corner again. Calvados gonna take a grip from the bad guy here. He's dead. No pro tag privilege today. You know, I thought it would have been pretty scaled off of the sword tosses, but you know what? If nobody got me, Ram Laser Super got me. No, a little bit too early on the throw there. Hate to see it. SQ was down backing, so. Right option, just incorrect on the execution by just a couple frames, but all good. Just gonna pull up for another throw. Umi Show said, if it doesn't work the first time, let me do it one more. Exactly. Oh, and we hit the JD in the air to air, and that's a beautiful confirm. Not gonna use the bar. We're just gonna keep the positive bonus and half a stick of butter. I don't blame Umi Show for that. Keep that meter advantage. <clears throat> Up, seeing the far slash into the 5H, just trying to catch out some forward movement from Ubi Show. But when she's moving in with the DP, not too much you can do. The Tyrant Rave just barely doesn't kill. Gold burst, but no punish. Oh, man, that is one thing, like, top of my wish list for the next patch of this game, is if I block a gold burst, man, let me punish it. Like, dang, Daisuke. <laughs> dang, Ubi Show putting a breadstick on the board there. Two to one. It begins. I want my game five chat. I want it. I've done exactly zero things to earn it, but I want it. <laughs> and uh, man, Umi Show, you can never count her out. Truly, truly never count her out of any game. It is not over till it's over. And uh, gonna get into the next one right now, guys.
Yeah, exactly. You know, SQ, of course, doesn't want to bring it over to the Game 5, and I'm sure for any SQ fans in the chat, that's not exactly what you want to see. You know, SQ back up on the roads. But if you guys want to see a Game number 5, let us know in the chat as we head into the next one here. 6S is going to force out the burst. All right. Ooh, the throw is tech there. And uh, just navigating to neutral here. Gunflame going to lock it down and put SQ back to the wall. So this is a bad spot for Ram, right? Because she doesn't have that meterless reversal. Has to use those system mechanics. Has to wait for Saul Bad Guy to really uh, make a move that isn't the right one. And uh, guys, I got I to gotta let you know that we picked up about 23 followers today. And if you want to join that train, you like what you're seeing, hit that follow button and uh, get on board for more of these good old fighting games, good old Guilty Gear. Street Fighter VI coming your way shortly. And, uh, you know, also Rocket League. We're a multifaceted organization over here, just like we're seeing Umi show be a multifaceted fighting game player here, switching between the Happy Chaos and the Salt Bad Guy. Everybody gets clipped eventually by that Ramlethal, but the whiff throw could spell doom. For, okay, okay. You know, I said could spell doom, but I didn't even see the meter. I'm not going to lie. Umi show had that, no doubt. Good stuff from Umi show there. Trying to bring it to that game five, but SQ about to have the burst up in just a little bit. Try it again. Trying to make your way out of the corner here, but that wall break gonna get Umi show that positive bonus. Any good hit into an RC should be able to kill with a wall break, so definitely up against the wall here. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh. no, you saw the info, in you the saw bag. the burst coming out, and Umi show mm -hmm. with a perfect brings us over to another game five. Thank you, Umi Show. I, I, you know, I was a little entitled of me to ask for a game five, having done nothing to deserve it, but Damn, it feels nice to get my game five. Thank you. Thank you, Umi Show and Umi Sol. And uh, I'm really excited to see, because this is one thing that Umi Show kind of specializes in. Like, she is so good at just taking data, even if she's been honestly handed a beating. She is great at taking the data from that beating and applying it so quickly. That's why she's at the upper echelon of skill in Guilty Gear Strive. That's why she's consistently in offline top eights online top eights that's why she's she she damn near qualified day one to be in this tournament the first time she came out it, she's an immaculate player that being said so is sq so there's no surprise we're seeing a game five here and uh, i'm really excited to get into it guys really excited to get into it. yeah let's see it back onto the game stream i know you guys want to see us in our drip out outfits but make our way back over to the game scene. No burst available on either side here. SQ taking a little bit of damage, but making her way back on down with the windshield wiper from the top rope. I've been really liking SQ's use of the 5K. Like it's so like everybody talks about Ram's big old sword normals, the slash and the heavy slash, but like that 5K kind of kind of does put in a lot of work. It reaches out, touches you, lets you know that it's not all about the swords. That being said, Umi Show getting that big old pressure clinic in the corner here. Yeah, absolutely. One of those quick checks that, you know, not too committal. We're trying to keep some space here, but unfortunately, Umi Show gonna catch that far slash right after said, all right, I know you're gonna use the sword normals eventually, and I'm gonna cash out quite some damage here. Oh, so we're gonna cash out, gonna get that nice corner carry combo here. Ooh, Bandit Revolver into the wild throw. I feel like that's the game five closer we keep seeing from Umi Show, right? Just go mm -hmm. for the 50-50s all set long and then game five just pulling up for a big damage combo but all right let's see it set point for umi show waiting for that burst to come back up yeah absolutely and then speaking of that wild throw it's like it's literally yeah that game five tech she doesn't put it on your mental stack until she's loaded it with so much other stuff that it's just free 99 that being said sq immaculate use of movement in the in the corner there and we we're gonna see a nice wall break Yep, there we go. Umi Show down a decent amount of health, and with SQ having that positive bonus, anything should be able to kill, but 2S gonna get caught up with the SDP, bouncing up and down against the wall here. All right, Gunflame faint into the... No, you Whoa. hate to see it. Might have been a missed input there to try and get that positive bonus. Oh, oh. my lord, and you hate to see it. Uh, you hate to see that if you're Umi Show. You love to see it if you're out there in chat land because we got this game five final round here and umi show starting off strong with the counter hit 2s no burst available for sq we're going to get all of this corner pressure and you're going to hold it yep sq holding on to that stand fd trying to make as much room as possible in the corner here but umi show pulling up for the grab nice the clash into that taro cancel forcing out the burst and umi show still keeping up this corner 100 meter in the bank this is gonna hurt 
This is absolutely gonna hurt. They call her Ram Lethal Valentine, not Ram Survives Valentine. And uh, she is dead. And Umi Show giving us our game five, living up to just everything that was talked about. Like she just takes that data and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you are up 2-0 against a, a player the caliber of Umi Show. You have to stay on your toes at all times. Just like I got to keep you on your toes for these Maturino codes. 28 of them left, guys. There are almost 300 of you guys out there. Make that math make sense. How, how do we still have any left? Damn, that's crazy. And uh, exactly. crazy, like commentating with the goat Jay Sue over here, bro. Why don't you tell him who we got next? All righty, up next, let's see. I see the Ram versus the Kai. We're going to be seeing Red Ditto versus Danny here. Let's see it. We got some uh, some sword on sword action. So mm -hmm. let's see. Love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. All right, here we go. <clears throat> King Kai gonna get the Fudra arc started off strong. No burst. Danny just gonna bait it out. Be a little patient there. Flip gonna get us back to the neutral here. And oh my goodness, the one time Kai he's, is capable of losing in an air to air situation. Gonna be against Ram with all Valentine. Yep, pull up for the throw. Get the meaty sword explosion. Danny trying to jump out here, but nice the PRC into JP. Brings you back down to the ground. All right, here we go. <clears throat> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, 3,000 channel points dying to find a commentator. Stop the tournament, everybody. Stop the tournament. We got a, we got a <laughs> channel point reward. <laughs> Stop the, if the channel points matter. You know, we got to cater to the community. If they spend yeah. the points, they got to get what they deserve. But yeah. pulling we're up here, here again, you. another throw to keep you in the court. Yeah, we're here for you. The Nine Moons Gaming Community Channel. You already know. <laughs> And uh, you already know that Danny is going to DP out of that corner situation and keep Red Ditto on the toes. RC the Scum Dipper. Tail as old as time. Dire Clat straight through the wall. Already tying up the life lead here. Oh my goodness. And uh, it is going to. Oh my. I was going to say it's going to go down to the wire. Danny going to use that heroic burst. No swords available for Red Ditto right now, but we get him back. Really nicely done. Blocks the tap dust, but strike throw here we go and uh guys speaking of strike throw has nothing to do with it but 253 dollars are gonna go to the loser of this set we are we are ascending to these higher and higher dollar values each and every time one of these sets goes on and uh 253 bucks i I'm, i would be happy with that obviously we got that big old 2500 right there below me in the maturino box but like that is you know one piece of the pie and uh, it's great that we get to distribute this so thanks everybody out there in the community for donating helping make this happen and again 28 codes left guys in the maturino so you can be part of this big old busted pot here and uh Help these players get that big old payout. And uh, Red Ditto going to try to just break open Danny's defenses here. Yep, there we go. Just trying to go for the far slashes here. Try and wait for uh, their opponent to run into that hitbox. But still just spacing themselves out perfectly. Waiting for the run up. But run up throw. The Kai Kisuke classic. Safe jab into the 5k. Okay, we are just going. We I'm loving the neutral. We're seeing Danny. Come dipper. Coming in. Yeah, 6 on the minus throw. button says, I know you're going for that upper body strike hitbox, so... All right, Burst going to come out here. Danny looking pretty good on the life lead as well. Oh, yeah, and uh, Red Ditto uses the PRC to keep it safe. BRC to get out of the corner, but the back throw instead of puts Danny right back in, and this is all Red Ditto right now. No, just kidding, the Royal Health Plan coming in clutch, and Danny's still hanging on by a thread. Just kidding, there's the sword toss. One round on the side of Red Ditto here. Yes, we do see that the scores are a little bit swapped yet. Danny is up 1-0 right now, so you just got to fix that real quick. But back into the game, the Daro getting us so far across the screen. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Ramblefall does damage, and uh, everybody talks about how like stupid that is, but we don't hear a lot about her corner carry, which is equally silly, just because she gets the corner carry and it enables just stupid damage. But speaking of stupid damage, we're going to ride all this lightning into a beautiful positive bonus situation. Ha, you thought that was gonna kill. No, that super does no damage, everybody. 
Ram survives. She endures, and with that 100% meter, PRC is going to knock you straight back down to the ground. Not going to go for the air throw this time, but the toe is going to get exposed here with a stun nipper. Oh my goodness. And, and that's even doubly painful because she doesn't wear shoes. So that's a sword right to your little toesies. Like, I, ow. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> little painful Ooh. no osha protection but still coming out here with a 5k like you were saying before right a quick check not quite as committal as a sword normal but able to take a little bit of space on the screen check danny if he goes for that run up as well 2k on the airborne hit nice confirm from red ditto oh my goodness and we're gonna immortal bato through the wall into a positive bonus situation i like this because positive bonus is gonna get ram right back up to that 50 meter very quickly here and there it is red stick on the board for red ditto one to one and uh man this set is going I, I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna say it now we might be seeing another game five building up here because these players want that big old payout they don't want to fall short this close to the end so we're really gonna see these players digging deep and pushing hard so i i don't know i'm thinking a game five is building here i could be wrong what do you think man what do you what do you got I don't know. It would be the classic, right? These players have been fighting week after week to try and qualify just to make it into top 16. And now coming towards the end of top eight here, they are fighting tooth and nail to try and stay, uh, you know, as close to that $2,500 payout as possible. You know, like you were mentioning earlier, loser gets 250, but the winner of this moves on to get a guaranteed $370. So definitely yeah. throwing away a good amount of money if you're not able to make it onto the next round. But let's see it going into game number three. Yep. <clears throat> And Danny getting the pressure started. The People's Elbow connects, forcing the burst off of Red Ditto here. Oh, there we go. The jump back windshield wiper. JP to try and bring you back down to the ground, but I think Danny was a little bit too low there. Awkward situation, but Stun Dipper is going to bring us all the way back. All the way back, all the way to this wall, and through what? it. <clears throat> Dire and Clot are problems away, and look at that health bar evaporate. Man, for no, such a middle of the road. Stick is so sick, dude. For real, for real. Oh, no! The Rekka oh. gonna bring you so much corner carry as well. Now, positive bonus on both sides. What? Never mind. Oh, nice little close slash pickup. We had a full stick of butter. This is bad for Red Ditto here. Sacred Edge gonna take us through. Good, good stuff. Yep, Shock State not gonna carry over onto the next round, but Danny knew it'd be able to kill, so might as well just go for it. Really leaning into the stun edges now. Not trying to space out with the far slash anymore. Said, all right, I need the projectiles to keep Red Ditto at bay. Yeah, absolutely, because the only thing Red Ditto is gonna really be able to do is toss out a sword as a projectile, and no Ramlethal player is gonna do that against Kai's stun edges. So, really great plays from Danny. Great jump out, but a really, really nice maintaining pressure with the windshield wipers and Red Ditto getting that positive bonus. Yep, I love the option to keep the corner from Red Ditto here, trying to make sure that even if you can't break the wall with Super, has to be close to the RC already after that wall break, and we are tied up on the round count once again. Oh my goodness, the back and forth we're seeing right now. <clears throat> They'll bring you over to the corner. Like you were saying, right, Ram, a lot of people don't really talk about her corner carry, but that sword toss, even if you're not able to get the combo off of it, sometimes you can get that meaty explosion, even when that second hit doesn't connect. So definitely coming up huge for Red Ditto on the far slash. Forces out that burst from Danny. Can you bring it back here? Mm -hmm. Danny, oh, nice attempt at the shimmy, but Red Ditto with a nice neutral jumps out, and we're going to get the Ram with all corner pressure started here. Danny just going to block it out. I like the patience. Nice. Nah, you're trying to make some space, but just waiting right outside of DP range and coming up huge with the Mortabato Red Ditto yeah. takes another game 2-1 right now. That was really, really good stuff from Red Ditto, knowing that, you know, DP is an option, just spacing everything out, playing it really patiently, just just doing a great job on that stagger pressure, making Danny want to press like just like, yeah, you know, you know I'm going to it's like poking the bear, right? You know, you poke, 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 and then hope the bear, you know, reaches out, does something stupid. And then, you know, you slap him in that trap. And then we saw it just right there. Really, really textbook execution. And uh, man, Red Ditto is looking really, really clean right now. Yep. Unlike the uh, the bear that we got on the commentary, Mike, this bear does in fact care. And eventually, right, you know, Ram is building up all that risk in the corner. You're uh, gradually trying to make your way out before you get that guaranteed counter hit, but unfortunately getting caught out. Now Red Ditto just needs one more game to move on to losers finals. Indeed, all right. And this Ram with all corner pressure is not easy to endure, even with an invincible reversal. And uh, Danny is finding out the hard way, but there it is. DP, get off of me. 
Gotta represent the invul reversal at least every once in a while just to make sure that it's on their plate. You know, sometimes you can steal some turns back when they're trying to bait it out. Oh no, but the close slash gonna get baited there. Okay. Oh my Ooh. goodness, Fudra Art is just such a good, just good anti-air. Good anti-air, good air to air, you name it, it does it all. Oh, Charge Dust gonna cash out so hard here. Not quite gonna be able to make it to the corner if we were a little bit closer. Might have been able to kill with the wall bounce, but the PRC what? thought you're gonna go empty low. No. But no, we still got JPs in the bank, baby. Okay, that was that was nice. That was some nice little, you know, save it save it for finals <laughs> tag right there. Yo, the full screen, no meter, windshield wiper. That's like the rat energy, right? When he pulls up with mm -hmm. a bad moon, no meter, just go for the overhead three times in a row, said, I'm trying to skip neutral immediately, expeditiously, break that glass, and now Danny on his last legs here. Indeed, and uh, this is a very scary situation for Danny to be in here. Strike throw, here we go. That's all she wrote. And seven golden letters over to Red Ditto to put it away. That incredible play all across the board red ditto just locked in just just got in the driver's seat just just fully just got that seat belt locked in and said no mm -hmm. give me the aux cord you don't even get that this is my car and uh just took the whole set just took it all the way to the bank looking really good and uh moving right along here and that was just you know it's crazy that we are in day two of this event and that these players have been just pushing so hard to get, you know, as far as they have and uh, really, really great stuff every single game. And uh, I cannot wait here to get into the next one with you guys. Absolutely. And now that Losers Semis is over, I believe we're going to be heading on to Losers Finals. Red Ditto moving on to face SQ. So we're going to be seeing a little bit of that Ram Mirror action. Have they played each other in uh in this top eight yet i don't believe they don't had think i think so. they started on opposite sides so yeah this is the first time they're meeting up in losers finals for the opportunity to get the run back against umi show so who's gonna yeah. make it out <laughs> yeah who's gonna make it out and which <clears throat> which ramlethal do you think umi show is probably you know would rather step up against honestly because right now red ditto sitting in the hot seat really warm really cooking as we see with that 2k2d they're just trying to get it going SQ, just a prolific Ramlethal player. Not really, uh, you know, not, not really great options for Umi Show, aside from the fact that she gets to have that extra life. And uh, we get treated to this mirror matchup, and we are seeing Red Ditto just shimmy the socks off of SQ, trying to get that uh, throw baited. Oh, the flip kick out of the corner, gonna get caught out here. You know, Ramlethal is not a character you think of being as like super rush down, super fast, but already out of the gate, Red Ditto and SQ are swinging. They yeah. uh, they are not wasting any time here to try and get over to Grants. Yeah, and that's a, one of those things that Ramlethal kind of gets under the radar again because of her big damage. Is like her dash speed. You press dash, she's basically full speed instantly, and it really shows when uh, you see two of them on the screen running at each other. And uh, SQ just in a very rough situation here against Red Ditto's Ramlethal. Yeah, the acceleration is quite fast. Yo, Red Ditto was playing too much Street Fighter. They went for the two hit into Super Confirmed. They were like, oh, I, I need to save the scaling and just sending SQ straight to the wall to take game that number was, one. That, that hey, looks silly. I'm going to be real with good. you. That's the first time I've seen that confirmed. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm all for it. I am all for, you know, cross-contamination of skill sets. And if Street Fighter is going to bring us more stuff like that, then hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's keep it going because that was actually OD and really again like we talked about earlier we talked about you know SQ demonstrating character mastery and you know here's Red Ditto also saying hey she's not the only one that's putting in the time and putting in the work check out my stuff check out what I'm bringing to the table and uh SQ trying to fight back here get a breadstick on the board of her own and uh see if Red Ditto can shut it down oh no big counter hit 2D Blanky and Saul gonna force out the burst keeping that corner Rescue here, trying to keep it up with the sword explosions. All right. Oh, the back dash, the burst. Okay. I like that. And it's going to be a second before SQ gets that sword back. Here we go. Yep, got to wait it out a little bit of time. No, the air throw actually going to whip, but just do it again on the other side. Just crossing up in the air. Said, I got enough time to recover and just do it one more time. Red Ditto, not a lot of health here, and it's going to be reduced down to zero after this wall break. Oh my god, I thought... I thought SQ almost dropped. I was like, please know the curse of Raw is coming through strong here, but SQ taking the first round. Yeah, 
Looking good. Six P are problems away. Big counter hit for Red Ditto here. And uh, trying to take the wind out of SQ's sail. The Ram Brain synced up there. The Clash on the uh, the far slash there. Gonna trade, but SQ coming up huge after the scramble. BRC to try and make your way out of the corner and also avoid that air throw, right? That oh. slowdown making it so you can't escape. Can't escape the I'm a fire in my laser. And we all knew that was gonna kill at this point, guys. Yeah. We've seen quite a few laser yeah. supers. There's no doubt. There's no doubt that that laser suit is going to kill. Again, we, we we said it earlier. She's called Ram Lethal Valentine, not Ram Defense Valentine. But she's here to kill people, not defend and endure. So uh, here we go. SQ putting the pressure on. And we see Red Ditto without one of those swords. That's a really big disadvantage. But there it is. Coming back finally. And uh, SQ just still putting on the pressure. No burst available. This is looking very good for SQ. Calvados going to come through in the clutch, chunk out that damage, and put a breadstick on the board for SQ. Looking there we good. go. Calvados taking both of those rounds. SQ tying it up, the double breadstick. There we go. Mm -hmm. Jay Goat on the mic. Jordan, what is good? Welcome to the chat. Uh, you know, we are over here in Losers finals tie it up here for the opportunity to try and face umi show on the loser side of grands but we got the yeah. ram mirror we got the uh the sword masters pulling up here trying to make their way over yeah and it's 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 amazing that you know how much stuff that ramlethal mirrors actually put on the screen at any given time mm -hmm. this is a lot you know normally with ramlethal it's like okay i've got so much to look at now you've got double the swords double the explosions double the fun and uh We've got uh, 26 of these Macharino codes left, guys. We are getting down to the wire, so please, if you can find any of your heart of hearts, to click that beautiful claim code button on that link that we're going to put in the chat here and uh, just get it going for these players, guys. Because, I mean, look oh, at nice. that. SQ took that big Mortobato for you, chat. <laughs> oh, my God. Red Ditto just doing so much damage right now. Oh, no, a bait on a burst that wasn't there, Red Ditto. You hate to see it, but you still have the positive bonus. Oh, no, the counter hit, but still no confirm SQ. If you're able to bring this back, that is going to be huge against Red Ditto's mental. Oh, no. Yeah, absolutely. And a big chunk of life disappearing there. Well on our way. Ah! Back throw incident. No, not like this. Not like this, Red Ditto. You can't, you can't drop this round. It's going to be huge for yes. the mental, but stuck in the corner. Not a lot of resources. 5D going to open you up into the charge dust. Yes. SQ brings it yes, back. Yes, just like this. <laughs> just like this yes perfect order 66 kill that red ditto fellow do it oh my goodness sq really trying to send a message here but red ditto fighting back with a nice little life lead so far oh 2d into the wait 2d into the wreck up but the grab just barely gonna whip didn't think that the pushback would be that far but just gonna go into a wreck a series of your own my goodness, that health bar is melting, and the windshield wipers once again gonna clean the screen. All right, tied up on the set count, tied up on the round count. Both both players got the burst available. SQ gets the first hit. And okay, gonna get the burst off of SQ early on. Nobody has burst now, and probably not gonna see another one for the rest of the round. Oh no, a little bit of a, too much of a delay on the Rekka too. You do want to delay it so it's empowered, gets you a little bit more damage on that corner carry, but maybe the nerves, you know, SQ got that first round back, but the second one pretty quick for Red Ditto here. Got to make your way out of the corner. No, oh. but the safe jump is a little bit too late. Yeah, the safe jump was not as safe as it appeared, Mr. Oh. Bond. And what a pickup from SQ to take the game, moving up two to one. What an air to air. What, just what a game. I'm, my mind has been blown. That was godlike. That was so good. Oh, <laughs> jump K into the 5K, into the Rekka. You thought you would take it back. That's a JK. And SQ has one more game on the board. Just needs one more to move on for the run back against Umi Show. But Red Ditto, mm -hmm. can you tie up the score once again and bring us over to a game five? Yeah, because SQ definitely looking like she has taken, you know, she's got the aux cable in hand. She's about mm -hmm. to, she's, she's, about to plug it in and uh it's looking like uh, we're about to see the sq jams here yes yeah, in fact it is a hundred percent armada on comms you're right this is the legendary don't care armada don't uh mm -hmm. don't even you don't even know you don't even Super know. Super Smothers Drive. You already know we're pulling up here we got the di here but unfortunately gonna get tech trapped forcing out the burst on both sides here 
Yep, and, uh, you know, you might be able to say that the, uh, the game has truly oh. begun. Okay, we go under the sword, we wipe the screen clean with the windshield wipers, and we go to the corner. Getting the max distance on that counter hit, right? Just dashing up. You have so much frame advantage to keep the combo going and also waiting for the swords to come back, right? Red did a great routing there, but still have to hold this pressure from SQ. He's about to get the 50% meter off of this throw, but just going to hold it for the next situation. Oh my goodness, the tap dust. The first stick of butter for Red Ditto, but are we going to get to use it? That's not a lot of life. Yo, that is so evil. The sword explosion meaty into the 5D, but SQ, unfortunately, after the wall break situation, not going to win the scramble. The JH gets around on the board for Red Ditto. Wow, looking good. And this could be really nice for the mental. Get yourself a little bit of breathing room, take a small lead, and then just try to carve out something bigger. Maybe get to a game five here. Keep this pressure going in the corner. Looking good for Red Ditto and a big trade for SQ, though. Yeah, the 2K clashes, but unfortunately 2D just a little bit too slow against another 2K coming out here. The counter hit close slash, forcing out the burster. You are not trying to take that damage if you're SQ. Yeah, not at all. Oh, oh just jumping straight on over, but Red Ditto catches you out with the 5P. No confirm. Oh no, and off the scramble, SQ. Gonna get a big RC. About to break the wall and get that positive bonus. Yep. And, uh... Unfortunately, the windshield wipers weren't able to clean that bug off the windshield. A little too early, but uh, it's like uh, Red Ditto trying to get it with this counter hit 6P and right into the BRC pressure. Nice overhead into the low and uh, Calvados. Damn. Oh, you know, I was actually surprised that it didn't kill. I really thought SQ was dead here. You got a 100% meter, got a FD to not take the chip. Wait, RC. What? What? No! no. Bringing it back from another pixel held situation. Red Ditto, you gotta keep what? the mental in check here, but now SQ on set point. Oh my goodness, the burst comes out almost immediately. Red Ditto trying to get any momentum going and keep it on their side here. SQ burst to get back to the neutral, and Red Ditto without a sword, gonna have to play a little more passively. Nice cross up from SQ, getting the corner pressure started here. Nice, knew that Red Ditto was looking for the anti-air, so just take that time to go for the cross-up, and now Calvados once again just breaking straight on through the glass. This is not a good situation for Red Ditto. Safe jump is available, but just pull up, wait for the Mortabato, but it's not coming out. Yeah, that was really good. The, the Ram Brain Cell did not fire there, but now we are firing our laser, and this is more than likely just SQ. I'm not more than likely, just kidding. It's Calvados, guys. What are you thinking? Calvados no, kills. All sword users, Curse yeah. of Ra, Curse, Curse of, Ram. of Ra. Insert the hieroglyphics. Moving on to grand finals against Umi Show is the run back SQ making her way Man. back on the loser's side. Man, and uh, you know, SQ probably pretty hungry for this one. This is uh, gonna be a really good run back, but I talked about it earlier. I don't know what I would rather see. Grand finals winner side Umi show or grand finals loser side Umi show. So this is going to be a very, very tricky situation for SQ to navigate because, you know, she's only got three games to work with where Umi show has to be defeated in the first set, brought down to SQ's less than fortunate bracket level and then do it all over again. So we are down to the final games guys 26 codes left help us out get these claimed we're in the final stretch it's it's easy easy money for these players easy good good vibes for yourself you know a little catharsis feel good about the good deed that you just did and uh guys this is gonna be absolutely insane as far as grand finals goes we've seen umi show at the big show over and over again but that does not mean it is any less exciting we are going to see saul bad guy versus ramlethal valentine a lore matchup and uh just so you guys know it is the big time winner of this one gets one thousand dollars tell them how much the loser's gonna pick up my friend how much are they walking away with 505 so you are putting 500 dollars on the table if you're not able to take down umi show here but even just looking at the bracket path right all of these three twos from umi show all the way over here she's been down you know down one game down two games but able to bring it back every time so sq how are you going to adapt to bring down the winner's side grand finals player umi show right now the hdp coming up huge with that oh, clean hit my goodness and that's it that's a round that is wow <laughs> That HTP without the wall break was just disgusting. And uh, now we're going to see if Umi Show can keep that momentum or if uh, SQ is going to clap right back. Nice little 5K to get it going. Strike throw. Here we go. All the way to the corner. 
Yup, just go straight into the JS. Not a counter hit, so I'm not sure what Umisho was looking for there. Might have caught a backdash or something, but down to the 50% HP. Ram with a positive bonus. This is pretty scary. Even if she's able to get you the block, it's going to be pretty rough. No, the RC should be able to take it, even with all this. Wait. Oh, oh sorry. no, the pro tag privilege. Uh -huh. And Umisho gets the burst back. That is huge for this next round. Seven golden letters are going to come out for SQ, but Umisho has the burst advantage right now, and that is big in a round three situation. Yeah, I love the use of the flip kick there. Maybe looking for a, a grounded normal from Umisho and just trying to jump straight on over. Knew even the chip damage would be able to take it. But speaking of damage, Umisho already bringing SQ down to the 30%. Got the 50% available, waiting for that late PRC to see if SQ's gonna swing, but trying to swing your way back on out of the corner, but caught out of the dash cancel. First game over to Umi Show. Bonk, bonk. You know they say that nobody wins in a headbutt, but I disagree. The freaking protagonist wearing a slab of steel across his forehead, he wins in a headbutt, guys. Like, <laughs> he wins almost 100% of the time. Only other person that also wins is like Gold Lewis, because that man headbutts you three times when he grabs you like damn anyway getting back into it solace bad gaius versus ram lethal valentine and uh down to 23 codes guys thank you for making it happen we are getting so close and uh getting into this next game here umi show versus sq grand finals game number two yeah, Umisho, can you keep up the momentum here? Is SQ going to be able to adapt, getting herself stuck in the corner and already forcing out the burst, but still stuck here in a rough spot on the screen. Again, we're seeing another offensive burst from Umisho, trying to keep that corner, but off of the scramble, SQ is ready. Mm -hmm. SQ's been doing such a good job of these, like, back-to-the-wall back dashes to just avoid stuff and get out. That being said, Umisho with a big counter hit here, going to push all the way to the wall here. Oh no, a drop on the 5k, but just barely enough time to still get the media afterwards. Trying to keep this corner situation. Should be able to kill with the Tyrant Rave, but gonna get caught in the swing by the Flip Kick RC. Indeed, and uh, Umisho doing a good job avoiding the sword, and now doing a great job keeping SQ away from that resource by just occupying that space. Oh, Umisho just going for some dash blocks here, trying to wait for SQ to whiff something, but... From the top rope into the vortex, trying to get something going. No! Oh, okay. Oh, no! Maybe trying to go for a JD there, but the miss input on that air grab. Gonna give SQ one more chance to fight back here in this first round. Indeed, and that is uh, not the kind of draw opportunity you'd like to see. Uh, SQ, very thankful for it, it looks like, because we are getting a big grip of damage. Burst does come back from Umi Show. YRC, get off of me. Ooh! OTG no, the witch is OTG! Oh, you hate no. to see it! Oh no! Might have been able to kill with close slash, I'm not sure, but the damage was so close you had to try and catch oh. out on it, and unfortunately coming up not too huge for SQ. And now Umi Show also has her burst available as well, so it, even if SQ is able to scramble out of the corner, another offensive burst is on the table. Well, speaking of offensive, both players there just whiffing light buttons in the corner, not hitting home, and now SQ is trying to fight out, but again. Getting caught without that sword is really, really bad for Ramlethal and is just letting Umisho kind of push right back to the wall. Nice little 5P, but the offensive burst comes out. Umisho right back in there trying to keep SQ from doing anything. Oh no, the Bandit Revolver delay on that follow-up should be able to take it with the 5k pickup. Umisho up to O right now. And this is like literally no flame. This is the first time that we've seen Umisho like up two games in a set. For the yeah. most part, it's been like, oh, it's tied 1-1. Mm -hmm. Umisho's down one game and they have that that revenge, you know, that, that yeah, blood in their eyes to try and bring the set back. But oh, yeah. Now, I mean, coming into the grand finals, winner's side, she's like, all right, I'm tired. It's 7.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm trying to close up the Ascend Finals with my mm -hmm. $1,000 bag. But SQ, can you stop that momentum? Yeah, for sure. Hey, yo, somebody tell Umi Show that this is not a speed running event. This ain't GDQ. This is the Ascend. Mm -hmm. It's not finals. GDQ. It's SQ on the loser's side. But can you bring Umi Show back down to the loser's bracket with you? The 6-H counter hit coming up huge. All right, then. Cool, cool. And, uh, you know. and oh, what a big counter hit for Umi Show here. And uh, okay, I like it. Just going to walk up, shimmy a little bit, try to bait out a throw. Otherwise, keeping that good offensive pressure in the corner. Hasn't needed to use the offensive burst yet. We whiff the throw, and Umi Show is just going to put a big grip of damage on this Ramblethal Valentine. Full stick of butter, but no Tyrant Rave. Just going to go for the Fafnir. Yep. Grip of damage straight through the wall. SQ not in a great spot here, but able to get a jab. Still not a lot of health. You are pretty down on the life lead here in Tyrant Rave. 
Gonna bring us to uh, one more round set point, tournament point for Umi Show. Yeah, this is a big moment for um Umi Show. That is a big bag she's holding on to right now, and it is hers to drop. SQ has a moderately sized bag there herself, but she wants the one that, S that, that, that Umi Show holds. SQ wants it all for herself, and she's putting on the pressure to try to make it happen here. Yo, but Umi Show coming up huge with the IBFDs, making SQ a little scared to continue the pressure, right? Oh, what if I whiff? And Umi Show comes out with a huge counter hit, but finally 2K2D gets you a little something going. I like the RC up to keep it burst safe as well. Indeed, and we get the corner pressure right through the wall. Positive bonus, 50 bar for Umi Show though. So SQ playing a little cautiously, I respect it. Keeping that positive bonus and the pressure going. DP gets stuffed by the sword explosion and this could come up SQ here with the air throw. One chance left, OTG connects and SQ hangs on. Wait, and I love the running from SQ there, right? We saw the meter, we're thinking, oh, why didn't you RC the air throw? But go for the OTG to make that burst timing from Umi Show just a little bit harder to uh, to predict. So SQ trying to get a game on the board, but Umi Show still on tournament point here, jumps in with a bandit bringer, but a jump gets you out of the corner. And uh, word on the TO desk, guys. Stick around after the grand finals. There's a potential, maybe possibility. We're going to try to get the uh, grand finals champion on the mic here in the commentary booth at the Nine Men's headquarters. So stick around right now. SQ trying to do her best to make sure it's her. But Protag Privilege may be holding on for Umi Show here. Still tournament point. Whoa. One wild throw to start it off. And another big touch for Umi Show could put this tournament away. Oh no, windshield wiper. Yep, you got so much meter to be able to get a game on the board. 50% just waiting in the bank, but SQ. Got the game here. One, two against Umi Show. Still have to reset the bracket and then make it over to the reset. But one game on the board, it could be the start of the uh, yeah. reverse sweep momentum. It could be indeed. That could be enough off of the mental stack for SQ having been on tournament, you know, on that back wall tournament point on the mm -hmm. line, that yeah. one game could be the biggest difference in the world here. And we're going to have to see if that is a crack in the armor of Umi Show or if Umi Show is just going to lock it up and just say, hey, I'm Saul bad guy. I have the pro tag privilege. Sit mm -hmm. down. You go have a burger. Enjoy your time. And I'm going to take my bag and go all the way to the bank here. That being said, we still got to make it through at least one more game, guys. Two more life bars left for Umi Show to win the tournament. Two life bars for SQ to stay in it and bring it to a reset point. Yep, looking for that reset here. But it's it's hard against Umi Show, right? Not only because she's been making such great decisions, optimizing on the combos, the interaction she does get, but she even has a little bit of that protag plot armor, right? Just living at that pixel health situation every single time. But JP forces out the burst here. Big counter hit close slash is going to get you all the way over to the other side. Indeed, and uh, Ram with all corner pressure. Going to stuff the 6H attempt by Umi Show. And this could be lethal from the Ram lethal Valentine here. Really nice stuff from SQ, getting a nice little lead here in the round count. Nah, SQ is looking different. Nice, the second hit of the air special coming out huge here. Again, another counter hit close slash, gonna punish that DP. SQ, after that mm -hmm. first game, you know, definitely letting it get to the mental. A deep breath taken and just saying, all right, if I can get the one game, I can get the set. Gotta exactly. keep that mentality up. 6H to splat the wall. Wow, look at that damage on the pro tag, Saul bad guy. Umi Show still has the burst available and a big counter hit starting off strong. This is honestly still Umi Show's game if she wants it because that pro tag privilege does not care how much life is left. Tyrant Ray through the wall, positive bonus. Look at the life, where'd it go? Woo! No, no, the switch is not real. This is the third time in no. the past like three sets that we've seen SQ just calling out safe jumps that otherwise would be mm -hmm. blocking that invincible reversal. But she just knows she can yeah. count the frames, you know, ever since playing Street Fighter. I guess we all got that yeah. frame counter in our brains and just calling yeah. out the missed safe jump there to bring it to a tie point. That is crazy. It would seem that your safe jump was not as safe as you uh, assumed, Mr. Bond. Mm -hmm. And uh, damn, what a <laughs> what a conclusion to that one, bringing us to reset point for SQ, tournament point for Umi Show. That means we are in game five, guys. And uh, it doesn't feel like we've had four games of Guilty Gear in this grand finals. It does not. It's just it's a speed run on either direction now. It's kind of crazy.
Exactly. The mm. damage is coming up huge. Umi Show waiting until game five, saying, you know, it's interesting. We have been seeing Umi Show constantly one, two, cursing everybody throughout her bracket path. All right, mm -hmm. I'm down two games. Let me just win two games before they win one. Easy. That's just how it goes. Three, two, three, two, three, two. But now, on the opposite end of it, Umi Show in grand finals takes the first two games, says, all right, mm -hmm. I just need one more. SQ gets that one game. And now, it's that reverse one, two curse, right? You're like, wait. Yeah, it's the, or rather the two one curse on the other side. So bringing us over to game five, Umi show. Are you going to be able to overcome the one two curse of raw? Or are we going to be oh, seeing yeah. a reset? I honestly, I wouldn't hate to see a reset, but at the same time, like Umi show has been cooking. So it is, I, I will say that it rests squarely on the shoulders of SQ to not drop the momentum that she's developed over the last two games. Mm -hmm. Oh, big counter hit. Already forces out the burst. One less thing for you to worry about if you're SQ. The retreating JS doesn't really get you much, but it's just a tag on the approach from Umi Show. No burst available on either side, but a huge 5H swing. Again, the tap dust. Umi Show getting opened up by these quite a bit. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And uh, not a lot of life to lean on, but again, Umi Show just needs one or two good touches and uh, maybe going to have to potentially get a next round because uh, SQ sitting on reset point right now after a very clean round. Shut Umi Show down entirely there. Yeah, the momentum is halted, but 6B going to snipe SQ out of the skies. Big counter hit, 5H strike throw. Pulling up here and a huge counter hit. Just uh, going to leave SQ and not a lot of health. The Tyrant Rage should be able to break the glass and kill. Yeah. And now reset point, tournament point with a perfect... This next Seven round. Golden letters. All bad guy players want one thing, and it's disgusting. Mm -hmm. Oh, big uh, counter hit. Six P at the uh, you know at the mid screen. Not gonna get you a lot here, but look at all the corner carry just off those two interactions. The whiff five P could spell your doom. Tyrant. Oh, never mind. Oh, Keep the wild corner. throw with. Oh, we get the air throw to make up for it though. We're right there in the corner still. Umi Show about to get burst back too, so potentially able to use it for offensive purposes here. Backing up to mid screen, just trying to keep our positioning strong. Oh, JP ended a little bit early. Umi shows a little bit too low to keep it going. All the way back down to the ground. Gets caught out by the sword explosion. Waiting out for a burst here. Counter hit, oh. jump slash. No, but forces out the burst. One more chance for SQ. Oh, oh, SQ got caught by the gun flame. It's over. Close slash locks it up for Umi show. She has truly ascended beyond the stars to claim victory here in grand finals. Oh my goodness. Congratulations, Umi show taking it home and just making it work. Good stuff. The big 1K coming through here. I know you made it out of pool, so you got that free Chipotle gift card, but assuming you already claimed your free burrito, hey, you're going to be having free lunches for quite some time here. But again, big shout out to SQ making it at second out of the Ascent Finals. Great work bringing it over to the Game 5 last round situation. Unfortunately, just not quite able to seal out the reset. So big congrats to both of these players. But Umi Show, your Ascent Finals champion hosted by the Nine Moons homies over here. So make sure to give them a shout out. Make sure to hit them with a follow. And we are uh, actually asking Umi Show if she'd be down for a, uh, a quick tournament champion interview. And I believe we're going to be bringing Hamalog back real yeah. quick as well. So give us just one second, guys. Bring it there. He is the man himself, Hamilai, coming back in in the mid screen there, looking clean, looking good. And uh, man, guys, while we're waiting on the uh, resolution here, whether or not Umi Show gets that, either way, let's talk about this bracket here. Let's talk about how incredible all of these performances was. And honestly, look, the 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 woman of the hour herself here, Umi Show, is is here. Welcome, welcome. What Ignore a performance. How bad it Ignore how bad my mic might sound. I am on a laptop. Hey, no, no it actually sounds pretty good. It, sounds <laughs> great. it is not good. bad at all. We've we've seen some people who have the fancy mic on cam. They sound a little bit more deep fried. So you are all <laughs> and again, congratulations for being the winner of the first nine moons ascent finals. How are you feeling, Umi Show? Uh pretty good. Okay. Pretty good. I'm extremely happy that I was able to do it with Soul, like more than anything else. Except for the Except for the, the match against Danny, just ignore that. Mm. Right. Yes, yeah, we were actually going to ask you, you know, for the most part, you know, throughout the Ascent Finals and all the qualifiers, we were seeing the sole bad guy, the Flame mm -hmm. of Corruption. So against Danny, uh, against the Kai Kisuke, was there any particular reason you were like, oh, you know, I'm really feeling the happy chaos here? Or was it just kind uh, of a spur of the moment decision? 
I've been thinking for a while that if I ran into mm -hmm. Danny in this bracket, I was going to play Chaos because if you look at our history over mm -hmm. the past few months, I I don't think I've beaten him once with Soul in bracket. And it, it's like a mix of that and just me not really liking how Soul Kai feels on that play. Mm, I see. Es Understand. Especially since I got to play versus like Hayate and Scandalini and some other people a bunch at Combo Breaker. Right. It was sure. the first time I played Soul Kai offline. It feels so good, man. <laughs> well, I, 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 I like feel like I can't go back to playing it on net play. Okay. Mm, okay. okay. The net play has the uh, the chains on the Flame of Corruption set. All right, we'll bring out the Happy Chaos just for this matchup, but otherwise it should be all good. But speaking mm -hmm. of your bracket path as well, you know, we were seeing a lot of those matches where it would be, you know, you'd be down one, two, and we're like, oh, is Umisho able to bring it back to the game five? But consistently, you know, set after set, you're able to bring it back from that, uh, you know, that on the back foot position. How are you feeling? I guess, you know, in those, oh man, one more game and I'm out, or one more game, I'm in the loser's bracket. Uh, how are you able to keep calm, I guess, in those situations, time after time? I, I actually have to give a lot of credit to, to Razzo. Every time mm -hmm. I would go down, she would just bring me a cup of water, and I would just sit for a second and drink the water and think about, mm -hmm. like, what was going wrong and what I needed to adjust and all that. Just, like, ta taking a second like that is so hugely important in those situations. No, Razo the goat for real, for real. Like yeah, we noticed, really like cool. each of your set that you played today was game five. I'm, like I couldn't even imagine the stress. Oh, wait, was it really? Every set that oh you played God. was game five. Yeah, you look now, at that bracket path; it looks awesome. It is, it is yeah. crazy. What an like, absolute rampage! Going out on that rampage, like knowing, knowing now that each set was game five, has that, you know, made the win all the better, or do you still feel the same about it? I, I think that makes. That, that, that makes me even happier about it, honestly, that I was able to clutch up like that, because I've, I've been feeling a little bit rough in clutch situations like that recently. Mm. Part, part, probably just a process, of, part of the process of switching characters, but it, right. it feels nice that I was able to clutch it out that much today. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, what a Sick. performance you put in. And uh, honestly, it was uh, truly a treat to have you here through this entire event. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your victory lap here to come sit with us little casters, answer a couple questions, and really, uh, you know, just get us get us the details into the mind of a champion. That being okay. said, I believe it is time for us to go ahead and wrap things up here, and uh, I believe we're going to go ahead and kick it over to our runner-up stream, Squirrel147SQ, the girl <laughs> herself, Ram Lethal Valentine's strongest soldier. So we're going to go ahead and get that kicked over there. Stick around, guys, and that's going to do it for us here at The Ascent. Once again, Bye, congratulations, everyone. Umi Show. And uh, later, everybody. Peace. Bye, everyone. Peace and love. Bye-bye. Thank everybody. you for having me. So long, so long. GG's.